I was um, thinking about secondary school the other day. And um, it's even funny because someone even said in the comments that they want to hear more about uh, private school experiences from us because obviously we went private school, primary and secondary, or you primary, me secondary. And I was thinking that the way you lot met in year seven, the way you lot made friends in year seven compared to the way that I made friends in year seven is completely different. Like, you lot in year seven woke up in the morning, had breakfast in the morning, got to school, you got to school, maybe like on the bus, whatever, our parents dropped to you, then you just met strangers, in it. With me, it's like, went to school now, went to my boarding house, got shown what room I was in, eight men in the room, eight beds, straight in the room, meet the parents, all there. How was that a pause, bro? Eight man. You're bro. Outrageous. What outrageous. Why is your mind going there, bro? The hell do you mean by that? No, but um, eight man in the room, or eight man in my room, gone to my bed, cool. Parents have gone now after you've met them. Then that, like, you're just chilling in the room with seven other strangers, bro. So like, there's no time or space to like have your own time. Like you just have to just indulge and get to know people straight away. But it's, you know. it's nuts, I'll be honest. But like you become friends very, very fast. Very, what was very that? fast. Secondary school, you said. Yeah, bro. That's because boarding school probably. Yeah. I think primary. I don't remember how I made friends because I joined. I joined in year three, so I went to two different private primaries. Mm. Disclaimer: I'm ill, so my voice is sounding like this. You know why? <sighs> Don't want to hear nothing in the comments talking about, oh, yeah, why is he talking with his nose, all that nonsense, blood out. I'm sick, bro. Mm. But yeah, I went to two primaries. So the first one, I was too young to remember how I made friends, but well, that's primary school, isn't it? Mm. The second one, I joined, but everyone's already friends. Because year three, that's not the start of primary. So I don't remember, again, I don't remember, but. Probably I was quick or something. You know, something stupid like that is how you become friends. Because everyone true. can play football. You know, it's actually quick. true. It's sport or something. So yeah, like. that's probably how I made friends with people in primary. But doing this, I never had an issue with making, like, friends. Or, like, speaking to people when I was younger. I don't know. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, I hate talking to people. Black. That I don't know. Mm. Do you get it? Well, like... You know, back in the day when you go to an African party, yeah, and you just talk to everyone. All the you were your parents, or you, bro? Like, I swear, but you knew them though, or you knew the parents? No, I didn't know them. I oh, swear, that is my yeah, that's taking the same me for me. Minute. I'll just speak to people like they obviously I like, speak to people that my age, you know, or the young people. Isn't it? Oh, okay, no, nah, because you know, you know, like there'll be times when you're playing football, but like with a bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know them empty bottles. You yeah, play yeah, football yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then obviously you just start saying, oh, yeah, let me play. Or you, you may not even ask to play, you just jump in quickly. <laughs> you know them ones, you just jump in, bro. But yeah, or like you're just racing, like best strangers. Just like, racing, just, just line see, up. You just then... see everyone there, you just line up. You see one older around, oh, you say, nah, everyone line up. You just line up there, you just show them, yeah, you're ready to sprint, man. Yeah. yeah that's more time that hey, you made friends when you were younger still. It wasn't based on anything. That's actually how I met one of my bridges that I still have from second year, actually. He came in year nine. And the first time I met him, we're like, bro, let's race. But like, it was kind of, it was weird because like, we were the only two black people there and like, everyone else was like, rah, black guy meets black guy, let's use faster. (laughs) That's got to be racist. (laughs) I was like, (laughs) at the time, I was like, hmm. (laughs) But like, we just raced anyway. That's got to be racist, bro. (laughs) (laughs) No, school was funny, man. School was funny. And the thing is, with, with secondaries, like, the bonds you build are... Compared to like state school, grammar school is not the same, bro. Like compared to what? Like grammar school, state school, like people that go home every day. Oh, compared to. To be fair, there's some grammar schools that are, that are boarding. I think. What in comparison to where you went? Boarding school, yeah. Oh, like think about it. Imagine, imagine you lot that met your friends in year seven. You wake up in the same room. Everyone goes to shower. Everyone goes to eat breakfast. Mm. Everyone goes to church or chapel. We called it. Everyone goes to class. Did you have to go to church? Yeah. So what, you couldn't be like another, another religion. religion? Yeah, you just have to firm it, basically. 
if you were another religion, you had to affirm going to church. There was no one in the school that was another religion, to my knowledge. Yeah, fairs. it's probably like you. It's like, it's like you would have known before you came. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fairs, fairs, fairs. Everyone goes to church or chapel together. Everyone goes to class. After school, four to six, you can chill out, whatever. The day students went home at 6 p.m. every day. And then they came. Oh, so there's people there that didn't stay there? Yeah, day students. That's so That's weird. What, and we're boarders, like, we're boarders, they're day students. So you probably weren't cool with them, man. No, we were. We oh. were. But like, at the start, there was kind of like a divide. Like, yeah. oh, you might not have true like, pupils because you don't stay over kind of thing. But like, no. Nah. And then six when o'clock, then our seven. It started so stupid when we were younger, bro. What? There's, exactly, there's divides for no reason. It's always the Like, like you go to the same school, bro. You, you play on the same sports teams, same classes. But because I'm a day student, because I live closer and I live further, that's why. Like, but that, that, that feels like in like, the first week or something like that, or first couple of days. Nah. How did we segregate in our school? One time I was just, I had even know if I'm allowed to say this. Blacks be white, bro. Yeah, pretty much. That's how it is. Came to football, blacks be white. Sometimes it was your form tie, but that was rare. Like, obviously, our school, everyone wore different colour ties, depending on their form. The fact you man had enough numbers to do black be whites is even nuts in itself. Uh, there was, like, four people in year seven, bro. I feel like... from our In age, your school? Four out of 97. Three? Uh, three or four out of 97 were black. Everyone else is white. So there's no blacks we whites, bro. You're outnumbered. I, don't know. <laughs> I feel like from our age group, maybe the one above us, black people just kept coming in. Yeah. Like just... there was never a year where there was not a lot of black. There was always a lot of black people. I swear. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So there just wasn't a lot of black people in your school in general. There is now. Fairs. There's, there's more now. But when I was there, pff, nah. Is that is that how like you can tell that we're the minority? No, no, no. The first generation, da da da. All that. Our parents are first generation, da 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 da. Whatever they say. I don't think you'd be able to tell that from schools. I feel like you can, you know? Because, like, when there's an influx of us, and when I say maybe, us, I black people. Maybe, but. Because when you think about up, like, going up, I, like, the years now. Yeah. There weren't as many black people in a year. But that, that's at our school, though. Yeah, but like, mm, same. If, if it's like happening in, across other schools in our age group, like, surely it's like, you can tell from there that that's how it was identified with our parents that their first generation mm. was it my I, don't I don't even know I don't, what word is, blood. I don't think I that's know the you best mean, representation, but, but I know what you mean. Yeah, mm. I don't think that's how it was though, because obviously other schools, they'll have a lot of black people. You can say that about like, black people getting into uh, black grammar schools. grammar schools and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, but... Not the not the point you were trying to make. Were well, you man like cool with your teachers? When I say cool, no. I was in like like one of my sports teachers was almost our bedroom. Like he's almost one of the man them. Like very. I ain't got no man them, bro. I'm teachers. telling you, it was so. Bro, when I told you, man, like everyone on the site, even teachers lived on the site as well. So like everyone's on the site twenty four. That's the teachers lived there. Yeah, bro. They got on cribs. They got their own cribs. Like literally off site, like next to the reception kind of thing. So it's like. Um, that had to be paid by the school. Of course, they don't pay for the houses. They don't even pay bills. It's like it's a, but like they they balance out with the salaries and X Y Z. But the school just seems so weird. But like, cause you're paying fees, everyone's paying for the school. They they've got the money to do all these things. Oh, cause it's private. Yeah, cause yeah. it's private. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So they can put a gym in, they can put a pool in, they can put a music school, they can do anything. So it's like, yeah. you know, what it is because I went to private primary and. There was a swimming pool. Yeah. Swimming just was like no money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when when people now say they can't swim, I'm like that's mother. What the it's hell? True. Now, if you can't swim, like everyone in primary school went swimming. It yeah. doesn't matter if you had a, a swimming pool in your school or not. Like we went to the local leisure center. Yeah, yeah, yeah like primary. you had to learn that's how, how to swim. So did I in first one. Yeah. yeah. So, but why can't you swim? That's the only thing I don't get. I never understood that. Like, cause I I've been swimming. I, I've been swimming since before primary school. So, like, when people say they can't swim, it's just like... Before primary school? Yeah. What age is that? I don't know, from young. Yeah, he was a swimmer, bro. That's like <laughs> age three. Yeah, not, not three. Not not before primary school, but before they took us in primary oh, school. Oh, you know what I'm like saying? year four or something. Yeah, five. you only start going, like, year four, year five oh, or something oh, like that. I was going to say. I was going to um, say. So, yeah, I just never understood why people say you can't swim, like... It's just swimming. Even you know now, like, 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 like if I push you in the water, like, 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 like
<laughs> like even doing doggy paddle, that doggy paddle thing, that's technically swimming. So you, you're saying Bro, you can't do. Last week I was watching a TikTok, 30 year old saying they still do dog, doggy paddle. Like, that's, uh, yeah, that's a bit. That's, I'm sorry, like, why have you not learned how to swim, bro? That's a life skill. Yeah. It is, though. Because now, when you want to go on holiday, you want to go on jet ski, you're there scared for your life, bro. I really want to go on holiday. Nah, to be fair, open water is different, I'll be honest. Oh, no, no, no. Nah, no, no, I'll be honest. Like, so I, I wouldn't swim go swimming in, swimming in open water. I can swim in it, but if I fall in the ocean, I'm still going to panic, bro. I'll be honest. I'm still going to panic. And I'm a confident swimmer. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd panic. I don't think I'll panic. Open water. As long ocean. as I can get back up. If I can get back, bro, if I'm, then, yeah. if I'm, if I drop out of a jet ski, oh, that's why am I going to panic? Like, that's that's cool. open you, water. You can get straight back on. That's different. Yeah, but bro, how do you fall out of just yeah. out of the air, bro? <laughs> no, like them guys would jump off boats into the ocean. I'm so you wouldn't cool. do that? Of course I would do that. You were all like on a cruise ship or something like that. I don't know about that, man. I would, no, I would do that still. You, you would, would you would. I would. Yeah, I like don't know, as long as there's no like sea creatures around. How would you know that? I don't know. Exactly. They, they, would, they would let me know. They would whoever's do organizing this trip. When you said sea creatures, I looked at you like is this guy bugging. But then I was like, oh sugar, like Yeah, bro. Sugar, so you never like, know. An, why do you not just say animals, bro? I was talking about creatures, bro. Like, you know, sounded like mythological and all that, bro. You don't know what's in the in the ocean, man. This crazy nah, thing. Bro, I've, I've, I don't I've never had that. Like when I went on holiday last year, I jumped in the ocean off a kid, off a cliff. I wanna do that store. There is. When I did it, when I was doing it, I was thinking, yeah, this is cool. This is a, this is like a, a lifetime experience or whatever you yeah. want to call it. When I jumped, I said, "Am I an idiot? <laughs> what am I? Am I an idiot, bro? Because my parents aren't there telling me no, I don't jump off a cliff, bro. <laughs> That's what they tell you. If you, they tell you to jump off a cliff, you jump. I jumped. <laughs> am I an idiot, bro? No, I regretted it in the moment, but then I was like, oh yeah, cool. It's on video. That's calm. You get me. Nah, I can say I've done that, but nah. that's the thing. We we just with like white people. Yeah, yeah. yeah when yeah. you're around them, I can't lie to you. Like the way the they'll tell you, "Oh, dude, it's nothing, mate. Like nothing, it'll be alright." Like, oh, no, I let all of them do gosh, it. No, I've seen them bro. doing it. They were jumping off there. Yeah, you know, they're screaming. Bro. I was like, "Yeah, I can do this." Man. <laughs> I can <laughs> swim. <laughs> when I jumped in, I said, "God, let me remember what how am I to do it. exactly." I had my Crocs on. Crazy. I had my Crocs on. I was thinking, "Yo, let me swim." The water is getting in my crocs. It's pulling me back. I'm what? trying to go forward. Why would you jump with that one? I, bro, I didn't have anything else to jump off with. Like, So, would you not take off all your shoes and everything? Just Because it was like, they said there's like stones at the bottom and all that. Oh, was it a shallow? Or you're obviously it jumping on into the you shallow. Jump. Yeah, it depends on where you jump. You, you have to jump far so you don't yeah. jump in the shallow. But I was scared that oh, if I jump and I hit my foot, then I can't swim, then I'm dead. <laughs> you get me? There's no one to save me. <laughs> Because they told you, like, we're not responsible for anything happening. And I still jump. Is that what they say? That's what yes, they bro. bro, when I was in South Africa, yeah, they said that exact same thing. We went surfing and they told us there's sharks in the water. Just don't go too far out. Okay, then then don't go too far out. But What's like, too far what out? Too far there should out? be... You know, like, I don't know. I don't know. But if I'm in, if I'm within the region, the safe region, and I see a shark or something happens to me because bro, of a shark. Do you know how waves work? Do you know how current works, bro? You can get swept out like that. You're gone. You know what I'm saying? The guys told us, the guys told us that we've all got our surfboards, got our wetsuits. Everyone, everyone's gone in now. I'm like, oh, right there, buddy. Sorry. You need a moment. <laughs> um, we've got our wetsuits now. Everyone's gone into the ocean now. Now, some guys that have gone surfing before, they've gone far out. And I mean like 50, 60 meters out surfing waves. I've never surfed before. I'm black, bro. Like, where do you go surfing? <laughs> where she goes surfing as a black kid? You don't fence, go surfing. Fence. You know what I'm saying? So like, <laughs> yo, I'm going like, I've need got to break these stereotypes, bro. Like, like no, there's black where... people that surf, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough, but like, where have we gone? Where have you gone that's, where have you gone that's, um, so a place where, where yeah. yeah, like where people surf that are black. Yeah, exactly. Here, well, obviously no one you know knows. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I've gone like 10 meters out now. And like, I'm struggling to stand on the surfboard kind of thing. But all my boys are doing it. And I'm like, hmm. So I've got back out and I'm watching everyone. I'm watching one person that like was struggling at the start, but then he got the hang of it, innit? Gone back in now. Now I'm standing on the surfboard and I'm just going. Like I'm just going further and further out and I don't know what I'm doing, but I think I'm surfing, innit? And then like, I turn around now and like, everyone else is considerably closer to the shore than I am. I'm like, how do I get back? 
Like, do I jump off and swim back? And then, like, the guy who told us we're not responsible, like, the sharks in there don't go too far out now. He's blowing some horn because he said there's someone in the mountains that has, like, a goggle, or something. goggle in it that can spot sharks. That guy's waving some red flag. Yeah. The guy said shark alert in it. Mm-hmm. I've got off the surfboard, but like it's slippery in it, so I'm trying to drag it as well and swim at the same time. I've just, I've left the, the surfboard and I'm swimming back, I'm swimming back, I'm swimming back. Now, you see how like a surfboard, like they've got like a little fin mm-hmm. on the bottom. My thing's flipped upside down, but in the moment I thought it was a shark. <laughs> <laughs> bro, oi, oi, bro. How old are you? 15, bro. So I'm swimming back towards the shore now, but the current's going against me, so I'm not going anywhere. So then the guy's come and got his, um, what's it called? Oh, so you had to be rescued. Wait, why are you saying it like that? Because I feel like but you're like, missing. I, I had feel to like, be rescued. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like, oh, I feel like I, you're missing out the crucial part that yeah, you were panicking. I was getting there. Of course I was panicking, bro. I thought the <laughs> you was a shark, bro. I thought I was Explaining dying. it so calmly, you were panicking. I thought I was dead food. <laughs> But like, yeah. No, nah, I can't lie. In that situation, I don't know what I'm doing, but Guys, bro, come if, back if out. I like, see a shark. I'm dead, bro. I'm dead immediately. So you would just stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I already think I'm dead. I already think I'm dead. I'll die immediately. My heart will give in. That was, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But you know, like, sharks actually don't... Um, Eat humans. Yeah, they don't like... The taste, oh, taste of it or yeah. something, yeah. So well, they avoid they like, us. They like the fish and all that. Seals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seals? Yeah, seals. But then when you're wearing the wetsuit, they confuse you for seals. And when you Where splash, did you see that? TikTok. I, TikTok, TikTok, man. TikTok, 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 that's what I saw. But um, apparently if you splash, you're sort of emulating a seal. So they'll take you for a seal. Yeah. And then they'll when, you, when they bite into you, they realise, yeah, no, I don't like this. But it's too late for you. It's too late, You're dead. Your leg's gone, bro. You're dead. arm's gone or whatever. Oh, God forbid, man. But people are saying if you bang on a shark in the nose, like, it's going to run off. Like, who is banging a shark in the nose, bro? I'll do it. No, you I would not, man. man. I would no, not. you wouldn't, I would not. man. The shark's charging at you. man just said you'd stop and panic, like, if a shark's coming at you. If I saw a shark, I would die. Like, my heart would give and I'll die. <laughs> man said I would die. <laughs> I would <laughs> die. I'm dead. I'm <laughs> alive. <laughs> I'm flatlined. <laughs> that would be the scariest oh, no, thing ever. Of I would have banged a shark, bro. That's no. the, that's what is this territory, bro? I know myself. At least if you want to come on the ground, if you want to come here, maybe I'll bang you then because I know your movement is a bit shaky. You get me? But nah, nah I ain't played no shark in war, bro. But even then, when well, you said that was was that part of a trip? Yeah, South Africa was a rugby tour. Don't, don't rugby tour, bro. I remember rugby, man. I never yeah. went on no tours though. My school never done that. I know I went on a ski trip in primary. Yeah, I went on a ski trip in secondary. In I secondary. said in primary. Bro, I, I did a lot in primary, bro. Fez. Yeah. Fez. Ski trip is absolutely normal in primary school, man. Goodness gracious. Yeah, so many things trip. that are normal. Sports, tours, everything. Yeah. What else did I do? I did a ski trip in primary. I did a chess tournament in primary. Chess tournament? Why do you think I'm so good at chess? Did he beat you, man, like all the time? I beat him all the time. One. No, I you didn't beat me, but you didn't, you didn't lose. I'm didn't, beaten. I did beat, not lose. We didn't play. Time. We didn't play as many times as you think we played. I didn't lose a single time. We played like twice. Time like twice. Played that's like, me no, and him that's played a, like twice. I was there. That's a good time. I was there. Like, <laughs> 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 twice. twice. Bro, I didn't lose a single time in Leicester. <laughs> so Damn. that's why I'm good at chess. But I started chess early, so primary school in it. Plus, my dad was good at it. when I played. He was smoking, but I got my get back recently. Recently. Yeah, yeah, a couple. So, like, uh, maybe, like, I can't remember when I played him. Like maybe last year or something. Did you mind going on? I went on a history trip to Belgium, battlefields trip. I don't think I ever left the country other than to go on that ski trip with my primary school. So, I don't, yeah, I think I only went to. I think I don't think <coughs> I was even France. You know, I go France. I think it was France, but I know secondary school they offered bear trips, Austria. In the secondary school, I went to yeah. Canada. I didn't go Australia. Went skiing in Canada. That was lit. You went on the ski trip in secondary school? Yeah, in year 11. This was like literally before GCSEs as well. Yeah, that's a good decision. <laughs> nah. That was a good decision. I actually don't regret it. It was, it was too lit, man. Nah, Canada skiing. Yeah. yeah it's cold, no? I've forgotten how to ski, man, I think. Skiing is lit. I don't think I've forgotten, but I know I'd have to go to them. You know them practices that they do yeah, before the ski trip? It's not like riding a bike, though. Like, I think I'll be able to get Straight back, yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight away, yeah. 
But were you going on the on the steep slopes though? Yeah, we went on we went on the Black Diamond once. Cap. But you no, went on, we went on the Black, Black Diamond by yourself. Once. No, 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 no. If everyone went and there was like the ski instructors in front of us. Oh, right. Well, that, like, bro, that's terrifying. Of course it's, it's terrifying. terrifying. It's like that, bro. Let it's terrifying. So on my ski trip now, obviously I was doing all right. It was me and one guy that was just banking in our group. I went with my brother and Shy nose is dripping. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. In fact, before I go any further, make sure you like this video in the live. And let me introduce us. We are the one we say podcast show. My name is Hustle or Hustler or Huss. I have three names. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Logic was two, now it's three. Nice. No, there is though. I say but all at the same like during the episode. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'll just say that's my name, isn't it, Sha? You join my calls, T9 and Blood. What are you saying? Let's switch on my other co-host. The man behind the scene. The man behind the camera. He has no face. <laughs> <laughs> the intro of that voice is just... It's just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my days. He has no face, but he has a name. His name is Benzo 8th. Yo. What are we saying, man? But yeah, that's Key Trip 1 too. Um, so yeah, I was with my one guy that was banging it. My brother was on there as well. And him and the guy must have fell out. During the ski thing. And obviously, I was just skiing. We're just skiing. Like, I was just feel like, yeah, they're going to be skiing. Next thing you know, yeah, I see the guy that's good. Try to ski my brother off the mountain, bro. <laughs> I'm thinking, is Duke's all right? He's trying bro. to write him off. I'm thinking, wait, hold on. Like, that's when really kicked in that we're on a mountain, bro. <laughs> I don't know if we can die, but we're on a mountain. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How tapped do you have to be to try and ski someone off a mountain? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, That's well, funny. We're well, like year three. You, <laughs> you like year three, bro. What are you doing? Tapped. And I, thought, I don't know why I thought about that recently. I was like, bro, this, that guy was tapped. Like, how can you do that, bro? My brother just cut him off, bro. I've shifted him. I would have banged him there and then, I'll be honest. Dude, it's done year three, oh, so I'm not even thinking like that. I'm thinking like, yeah, what's good? Enough. Like, I was shook in the side. I was like, shit. No, no, no. I don't know if I read that, but yeah, I, don't, I was like, I don't know if I, I didn't realize that we're actually on a mountain, bro. <laughs> bro, there was one time when we went skiing, like there was three, there was four year 11s, including me, and then the rest were just younger years. Um, I wasn't as good as the other guys, so I was with all the youngers in it, yeah, for um, part of it. And there was one time we we're, were coming down the slope and we had to like calm down, then stop, but midway down the mountain. And then one of the youngers must have come, but he couldn't stop and he crashed into me, yeah. Uh, and I started rolling. Oh, my life, I thought my life was over. <laughs> I thought my life was over. I was like, I'm not going to stop rolling. But I only rolled like a little bit. But I was, I was like, I'm breaking my life. Oh, man. Sort <laughs> that out, man. What is this that, guy is too Ill. That was hefty. Oh. No, but... Um, sorry, sorry. No, I'm even thinking. I'm even thinking. I went um, shark cage diving when I was in South What? Africa. Yeah. Oh, uh, do you remember when we went... <laughs> You went shark cage diving. Remember? I don't know. What it is. It, um, we went swimming with sharks in, in England. F- no, Florida. Did we actually? Did you, did you not go? <laughs> I don't know. What year was this? What this was... is it? That, what cold water? You have to go. Yeah, in? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was Christ. too funny, bro. When I told you, we went in. And they gave us like snorkels. Yeah. And then like the sharks are beneath you, so you have to look down. Yeah. When I, t- I swam from one end to the other, I didn't look down. I didn't see, <laughs> I didn't see no shark. I didn't see nothing. Dude, it's the I didn't know that with snorkeling, you have to keep the thing up. Mums, yeah. mums, so mums. So when I went in now, you can't inhale breathe. the water. Like, man, I can't breathe, bro. <laughs> man's breathing so I've got to take this thing out my mouth, pause. I'm like, i got to get my air, then go back in, just try and see something. I didn't see bro. Again, blood. Like, what's wrong with you? No, our one was like a cage, innit? So like the, the boat just went out to the middle of the ocean and they hung like a cage outside And you the went in the cage? You have to slide into the cage and then with your snow cone on and your wetsuit, the, oh. the sharks come up here, innit, to your face and they swim around you. The great whites, though, they're massive sharks, though. I'm not going out. No. Like, I'll do it again just to like say I've done it, innit? But, like, no, I'm not Not something that. I'm fond of. Like, I can't see a shark. I can't see your shot. Even in your situation. <laughs> no, but the thing is, that wasn't the scariest bit. The scariest one was like, there was two levels in it. So we went upstairs. Upstairs. Yeah, we're upstairs, yeah. And I was like, 
maybe like 40 foot great work, great work. And it, sw- it swam under the boat. And the boat weren't big, bro. Exactly. It's and it's in the middle of the ocean. So I was like, bro, if this shark decides to get a little get bit, angry. get me. Like, get Jimmy, everyone bro. on here is food, bro. And that's it. You know what I'm no, saying? No, that's no. news. Do you get seasick? No. Yeah, everyone vomited. Everyone vomited. Like, everyone vomited, bro. Why? Because they get seasick? Yeah. I don't do think you it get was. Why did you say yeah, everyone? Do you get seasick, <laughs> yes, bro? Yes, everyone. Literally everyone on the boat got seasick. Why? I don't, I don't, know. I don't, I don't understand that. Then. I don't get motion sickness. Yeah. I don't get the long I long car past, journeys. I don't get that even, now. And then see, I don't get that. Do I. No, but the thing is, like, the boat was, like, rocking 24-7. It's, it's, it? could be so, like, if you went on a, to, like, a boat party, you get seasick. No, nah, that's different because it's a bigger boat, so like it's not rocking. You're, like you're more yeah, boat pies, they don't normally more rock like that. This one, like you're actually moving that like, up and down. Like. So what is it? your belly was just yeah. yeah, yeah. No, nah, I don't get that still. I don't get that. But even on the ski trip, I remember. I just remember one thing. When I was skiing, yeah, you we weren't allowed to take the two hand thing. You know, sometimes you can carry hands. The poles. The poles. You weren't allowed the poles. No, nah, we weren't allowed it. Well, probably because you're too young. Yeah, that's I did, they're useless anyway, in my opinion. I, I would ski without minute. them. Huh? Just to speed up. Yeah, yeah I think it's to speed, speed up. Oh, and I then would to ski like, them. do sharp turns, I think. Yeah, yeah. Fairs. So we weren't allowed it, but because we thought we were actually sick, we were like, cool, let's just quickly nab one of these. Like, so we mm. took two poles each. Me and the guy that was good. We just nabbed them quickly and went with our group. And we must have lied to someone and say, oh, yeah, well, he said, well, good in it, so that we can we should take it and then for the next time we go out. Cool. When we've gone now, however, um, we must have come to a stop in it. So I must have come to a stop and I've put the pole up in the air. Tell me why one guy has just come vroom straight into the pole. Lips busted. I said, Chia. I said, God, <coughs> in trouble today, bro, because this guy's a crybaby, bro. Dukes was a crybaby, bro. The only thing is that I, I didn't like the guy. The guy used to just talk bad. So I was just like, oh. So he's crying. Yeah, crying. Obviously, he's cold, bro. So that must have been hurt. So you got in trouble? No. I was going to say. I don't know why. <laughs> but I didn't get in trouble. <laughs> That's like like when you're wrestling with your brother or your sister <coughs> and they start crying. You're like, oh, stop crying, stop crying, stop crying. Before they go and snitch. And I've been, I've been, you're I've been, I've been. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sometimes you get away with it. Sometimes it's nah. That more time I never got away with it still. Nah, it was tough. More time I oh. never go away. Have with you, man, do your younger siblings have an easier life than you? No. Yeah. No. No, man, no. that's 100%. The younger siblings are always the one that gets told to do stuff, though. Yeah, but like, they never, they, the parents are more lenient with them. Eh? But you see, what do you think? They get mm. told to do more. They yeah. do, they do. Stuff. Yeah. They like, do order, stuff. order, get, go, get, uh, go wash my plate, go get yeah, me the remote, yeah. everything like Even that. Even shop, like, like anything. Like, yeah, exactly, anything like that. Literally, so. He was more willing, like, to. Like, he would like her to help my mum in it. I'm like, like, I help my mum in it, but to go to the shop, like, I don't know why. He likes yeah. doing that, innit? I feel like maybe he just accepted it. I don't know, innit? But... It has to be, like, <clears throat> it's this, it's, there's no other choice, bro. Yeah, that's just the way he but is. But he got no a lot, choice. he got away with, like, doing things earlier, innit? Obviously, I don't want to put his business out, innit? But there's certain things that he done that I would have never done, innit? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know I, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Having yeah. Yeah. Water, but, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Obviously, I got my ear pierced, didn't it? When I was younger. Six oh, I even forgot about that. Yeah, same. Six from. Yeah. Wait, were you year 12? Yes. What did your mum say? <laughs> there is. I had to ease it in with magnets. Damn. Yeah? So, back in the day, man, bear man would just wear magnets in it because their parents wouldn't let them wear the earring in it. Yeah. Cool. So then one day I was like, allow it, man. Man, needs to get a real thing. Like, and there was pe- there was a girl that was doing it in our school that would just pierce everyone's ear, innit? Yeah. So I'm like, cool, just pierce my ear this next, today, innit? Just pierce it. So now I was wearing earrings, I mean, magnets, like, beforehand at home just to, like, test my mum, innit? Oh, to see if she could see it, innit? Like, just testing her <coughs> so she'll think it's a magnet or whatever. Cool. So I've now gone and done it, yeah. I think I ended up pissing that ear, like, four times. I swear, cause I, it kept closing up. Yeah, it kept closing up, and when I want, cause I want to change the earring, cause it was bare small the one that she studied yeah. with in it. So when I come home now, even the first day she brushed it, like she didn't really notice it. Mm. Like day two, day three, brushed it. Then one random day, man's working at the table, like she can see my ear, in it. so I only pissed my left ear. Um, obviously, oh, that you time. eased it in definitely. Then 
Yeah, but like, I, I never planned on pissing my second one. Oh. I pissed this one for other reasons, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But, so she must have seen it. She just screamed. Hey. So you've gone and pissed this here finally. You've pissed it. Get on to. So you're, you've done it. Mm. Like, yeah, man, I've done it, man. I embraced it. I said, <laughs> I saw on TikTok one guy said, just tell him, this is me. <laughs> no, you have to own it. It's facts. It's facts. That's the only way forward. Like, <laughs> I said, I stand on it. I said, yeah, man, I've done it, man. Nah, like, I wanted it, innit? Mm. I mean, from that day, she just accepted that, yeah. I'm not a bad, I'm not a bad kid, innit? But, you know, let me have some things, innit? See, I went from, from zero to a hundred, like, last day of year 13 exams, owning my boy to the shop, just got it done straight away so like I've gone home now and I'm wearing earphones the wires like I'm not really sure how they're gonna react and I'm on the toilet I remember this clearly and what I've got the snap I was sitting on the toilet I can hear my mum going down the stairs I open the door I've greeted her it's like oh hi then like I push my head further out the door so she can see my ears she's going huh what possessed you to go <laughs> Uh, C9 possessed you to go out and get that one. Oh my days I'll never forget that nah. and then yeah man so I, I sort of just I was like I just wanted to do it innit I finished my exams I thought I was a man in it because I finished my A-levels I was like you know what I'm 18 finished my A-levels they're not going to say anything mum sort of brushed it she was like none of the mums were like you're going to tell your dad innit I'm not going to tell you you're going to uh, have to go uh, to your dad and explain <laughs> that was on a Friday and then on the Sunday before church I've gone to my dad, my dad, this is me now. <laughs> <laughs> this is me now. And he's like, he looked at me like the, the heaviest side I've ever seen. <laughs> heavy, <laughs> heavy side eye. He's like, take it out right now. I'm like, I can't take it out. And that's the thing, when they're angry, they don't hear what you're saying. No rationale. They don't hear no what you're saying. Take it out right now. And it's like, I'm trying to explain that. Like, if I take it out, it's going to get infected. Uh. Take it out right now. Then I'm like, bro, like... <laughs> Then I started trying to split it onto a health thing. Like, bro, if I take it, I might get infected. I might get a little thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's, take it out, right? I'm like... Can't do that, buddy. Can't do that, buddy. Like, can't do I don't that. want to get infected. So then I'm like... So like, they went to church. I stayed at home that day. And like, for about a month, that month was hostile in the crib. Uh-uh. With him. Not uh, with, my mum was cool. I think my dad took a long time. But like, I feel like when they think you look, when they see like it actually suits you, I feel like it just cools off. Like, it's like, but they'll never admit it suits they'll you. They'll never say that, but it's like, you know what? It's calm, isn't it? And then when my family found out, my dad's sister came to the crib. She came up to me and she took my ear and out of my ear, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. They're actually cheeky, man. She took it out of my cheeky, ear, bro. bro. I said, yeah, don't wear this again. I was like, rah. My dad sat there in silence, bro. He didn't say anything. He didn't say anything, bro. I was like, I was in shock. I was like, did that just happen? Like, the cheek came up to me, <laughs> took my earphone out, and took my back out, and just don't wear this again. I was like, rah. Obviously, I wore it the next day, but like, yeah. When she left the crib, actually, I just put it back in. But yeah, when she did the crib, I would have put it back in as well. But, oh, yeah, no, that was. These, they're cheeky, man. They're actually cheeky, and they don't know it, bruv, until you give them cheek back. Yeah, then they're like, you're, you're disrespectful. Exactly. That's, that's the thing. I'm like, bro, you literally just did the same thing like two minutes ago. <laughs> Imagine that, bro. Uh, they have mad cheeky, but my family, they didn't really, like, I feel like they knew I was going to get it eventually because I don't know, you know, when you just have it, you have it. When you're him, you're him, innit? So they just knew I was him. They knew I was going to get it one day. Fair enough. I try, I, I that joke not stand. Did, was that supposed to be a joke? I heard, I heard what he said, but like, I didn't know so if he meant it said, like I'm that. him, I'm him, yeah. I'm just like, what's the guy I wasn't about? sure if he meant it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I just ignored him. But, um, um, nah. I don't even remember when I first. I I don't remember how my mom reacted when I got it. Like she was, I, I'd spoken to her about it before. I'll tell her, like, mom, I'm gonna go get my ears pierced. Oh yeah, yeah. And, like depending on her reaction. Yeah, yeah. Can no. <laughs> <laughs> I forget, bro? Depending I literally did the same reaction. thing, bro. <laughs> my mom was just like, she she didn't care. She didn't kind of believe me, but she just said like, ah, oh, like she wouldn't be surprised as a, you're a young person. Like you're gonna try to do things like this and stuff like that yeah. and then I can't remember her reaction when I, I actually got it but I remember one time I wore it to church <laughs> <laughs> no even I accidentally wore it to church like I slept with one and I wore it to church yeah uh, my gosh the way the pastor oh pastor yeah after <laughs> church 
Oh, I was gonna say I thought you drew out like mid service, like. No, no, no. I was like, why would you? Why would you do this? Why would you? You know, you know, you don't look good like this. You don't look good like this, <laughs> and everything. Just trying to talk me out of wearing it, yeah. And then I was, I remember, I stopped talking to him. Now I was helping like pack up, you know, the service and everything. And then he's talking to other kids. He's like, "Don't go and be like him." When I was walking past, like, "Don't go and be like." I was like. Say so I <laughs> so, bro. All the aunties were coming up to me. You know, I saw, I, I left church earlier. I saw walk home. I walked home by myself. It's nah, crazy. I remember I was telling her, I was doing the same thing. I was speaking to her, oh yeah, mom, I'm going to get my earpiece, you know. Like, okay, cool. Like, she said like that, but she was like, she wasn't listening to me. Mm. So I went back the next day, oh yeah, I'm getting my earpiece still. How do you think it'll look? It'll look like this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, cool. cool. That's when she then reacted like, ah, so you actually went and got it done. I was like, yeah, you said I can get it done. I was waiting. You know when you want them to say yes so you can quote them? You yeah, said this, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that's what... She knew I was quite waiting for that, innit? So she eventually said... Yeah. <clears throat> what I don't like is that I've got two little cousins that have used me as a benchmark to go and get their thing done. Yeah. So like, they'll go and get their left one done. Then their preset argument when their parent says, what are you doing that for? Is, oh, but he did it. Mm. I'm like... Okay, but our parents aren't the same, bro. Like, Brother, you, you've you you've built the road, bro. You've set the way. I let hear them, it. You, I let hear them it, but like, on it. just because it worked for me doesn't mean it's going to work. For, it worked for them, fair enough. But like, I, can't, like, I, would, I wouldn't do that. It was, I would definitely use it. I don't think it'll work. If you did what? Like, if, if you... I wanted to get a tattoo and I said, oh, look, Daniel got the tattoo. Let me go get the tattoo. I don't think it'll, it'll push. Parents are weird, you know, because they'll compare you to that child. They'll be like, why can't you be like him? And then he'll get a tattoo. I'll be like, okay, can I get a tattoo like him? Yeah. Like, why do you want to be like him? <laughs> you were just comparing you know, they, me they to him. choose when they compare you <laughs> yeah, to these guys, yeah. bro. And no, it's so annoying. They still, no, not, not still do. No, nah, 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 not they really. Don't no, but bro, it was crazy back then. <laughs> no, now nah, they don't compare. But to be fair, I was the person they compared to. How would you know that? I've been told by cousins, isn't it? I was never com- I was, I, to my knowledge I was never compared to in it so I've been compared to a couple of times I don't know I don't know what for though nah I, was, I don't maybe back then because I was actually like when I was younger I used to like like passing exams well in it so like 11 plus in it mm-hmm. oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah yeah so then obviously for people that knew me then they were like to me, oh yeah so you can be like him or whatever <clears throat> but then as I grew up I think GCSEs I just did alright all right to my standard. That's the thing. When, you, when you're growing up, you set yourself higher standards. Well, if you lacked education or you lacked. Because I was very competitive. Mm. And that got taken out of me. Because I was so competitive. Mm. If that makes sense. So, I would like to be the best at maths. Do you get me? But then, teachers would tell you, oh, you don't need to be the best. Which is so bad. That's a poor mindset, man. Which is so bad. Because it's like, I lost my competitiveness for it. Mm. And then, like, I just never tried as much because, like, I don't need to get be the best. I just need to get a good grade. That's my thing with secondary because the thing about all the teachers is they're not that good. Mm. And because everyone's living a smooth lifestyle, bro, they don't pay bills. They don't pay mortgage, bro. Like, they're just there for the ride, almost. So it's like, if they see you not pulling your weight, they're like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, this is in your school. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking, I was like, what do you mean teachers don't pay mortgage? But no, yeah. it's like, yeah, because like, they, they live on live the campus. Inside, yeah. So, <clears throat> like, there were good teachers, don't get it twisted, but there was a lot of teachers that wouldn't push you to the edge because it's like, I don't care, bro. Because most kids general, like, had a fullback anyway. Another thing is like, 17th birthday, their kids, the standard is, oh, yeah, mum and daddy buy me a car my 17th birthday. Buy your what? Bro, that was the bare, not bare minimum, that was pretty standard. That was pretty standard. Why do you not use bare minimum, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was probably the biggest difference between when I switched schools. I was like, rah. Obviously, that wasn't my norm or my boy's norm, but I'm like, rah. She got Mini Cooper, what? Golf, what? BM, 17th birthday, here are the keys. No, I never. As soon as we come back to, to college, like, that's not reality, bro. But I thought that was reality because that's all I knew. That is not really. What like, is that? Like my sweet 16 or something. You know like what I'm that. saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 16. <laughs> like, man, yeah. Them kind of things. Man. When can you drive in the UK? 16. 17. Yes, it's 16. 17. Is it 16 or 17? 17. Is it 17? Yeah. No, no. My sister's not 18 yet. She's got... So probably year 17. Because yeah. if it was 16, you'd be driving year 11. Wait. Hold on. 16. I'm not even sure. Probably when can you, you get a provisional? Know, huh? When can you get a provisional? 17, definitely. So it is 17. 
I swear, actually, no, that might be Wales. Yeah, England 17. Still. Yeah, it's probably different than for Wales. England, England 17. Wow, why do you even know about Wales, bro? No, because I remember searching up something about when can I drive. And I saw yeah, something I was... about 16 in Scotland or Wales or something. Like I used that. to be so ready to drive because back in our school, it was only the white boys that were driving, bro. I was like, ah, we need to step it up, bro. Because <clears throat> even a year above, like, you would just see bare of them going, a lot of times going to their cars, bro. None of us were going to no cars, nothing. There was only that one guy that would drive. Collie, I remember that as well. Like, no, we got to step up. That's what made me actually want to go and start driving, bro. Not knowing that I'll just be facing tickets, facing your oh, wow. facing MOT, facing everything, bro. Dark charge. <laughs> no, but dark charge, you should be able to just like remember, innit? That's not ideal. No, no, I never remembered. It. So I got a lot of tickets. <laughs> not realising they can just set up an account that it takes it automatically exactly bro. the amount of money I would have saved bro they even give you a second chance if it doesn't come out of your account I swear oh my god and you missed that one as well no no no, no. Oh, I, was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say I, that I, I called them I immediately like, I said bro try it again bro that was you lot's error <sighs> nah man nah. <sighs> primary or secondary they, oh, primary. they had they had experiences bro I I had more black friends in primary school than secondary school. What? Yeah. You had more black friends in primary than secondary. Oh, you said you only had four, and there was only four of you four in. Four people, yeah. <clears throat> there was more in primary. Oh, but you I chose to go to boarding. Yeah. So then everyone in your area probably went to the same schools. Secondary or something. They actually did. The same local school, like 95% went to the same school store. Well, how would you do that? I don't ever, I don't, I don't understand. You chose to do this. Bro, like, I just wanted to be different. Oh, so you chose to go to... Yeah. I remember them asking me, where do you want to go? And I said, that school. No, so you I... know everyone's saying, yeah, we're going to the secondary school. We're going to this school. No, but that school wasn't even like all lit like that, bro, I'll be honest. Well, looking back to it now? Or... Yeah, I, I still wouldn't have gone there if I, if I went I there. always thought boarding school was a punishment. <laughs> yeah. It was in Nigeria. <laughs> in Nigeria, it was. Fairs. For fairs. Some. Like, I've got one cousin that got shipped back there. He went to boarding school, bro. Like, but in England, it's not the way my one was. That nah, it wasn't a punishment, bro. It was right. like it was just a massive sleepover slash Hogwarts. <coughs> genuinely, I'm telling you, genuinely. You see how Hermione run and no, no, no. Wait, you see how like Hermione run and what's his name? Harry like will sneak out or go to the fields. You could do that very easily. I'll be honest, very easily. Obviously, it never happened. Well, you know what I'm saying? But you're yeah, sleep of eight boys, bro. <laughs> you're gonna sneak out to it bro. no as in in year 8 we had the same house with the girls as in everyone in year 8 was all in the same house we all what does seven. house mean? Like, where you we sleep had houses as, wait what do you mean? like where you sleep oh okay like, what did you mean house? by houses? like forms, like, yeah, forms, forms innit? Yeah. Like, we had form, forms are separate oh so you could be with different forms in your house yeah so what did they house you based on? I don't know just random just random stuff so they chose who you slept with? That's like that. <laughs> did weird, not but, like that, like but that. yeah, yeah. Like when that. I got there, I was already allocated a room. Still, so how was it? I don't, I don't get it. So like, you it's like a normal house. Yeah, like you walk in. Mm, actually, no. You walk in. So you have the house master. You like he runs the house. Basically. Oh, what? it's like um, House of Anubis. <laughs> Have you, have you watched that? that yeah, you've watched it, innit? Yeah, exactly. You know exactly what I'm talking about. How was House, House of Anubis? Anubis. That's that? exactly what your school was what? like. What? That's exactly oh my what your school was like. <laughs> One TV show that was on Nickelodeon, bro. That was a lit show, That's man. That's funny. House of That's exactly what his house was like, I'm telling you. They all had like, there was like, certain kids would be in certain houses and they'd have a house master that would that look after them. And you probably had like a cook as well, innit, or something. Nah. Never there was mind. a matron. She was called matron, but she's like the mum of the house. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's the house. When, that's exactly yeah, the house. Yeah, yeah. Fair <laughs> out. Yeah. My memory doesn't serve well, bro. And there was another member of staff who lived on the other side. So there's three members of staff that live in the house. Then there's two sides of the house. Sitting so your eight, there was boys on one side, girls on one side. All Are you side. allowed to talk to the girls? Of course, bro. But what? there was a curfew minute that you, you couldn't stay at the girls. No, nah, because obviously, like, how they built upstairs, like, there's a block. So like you can't go to the girls' bedrooms, basically. Like you couldn't actually get through. There was a fob. You literally couldn't get through. Like we were fob. on the left side, they were on the right side. So you couldn't. So if you wanted to chill with the girls, where would you go? Downstairs. Oh, like you a couldn't be together upstairs. Impossible. <laughs> or they thought it was impossible. I'm not involved. I was never involved. <laughs> <laughs> 
I wasn't involved, but um, no, I was um, I was lit still. No, your one is mad, bro. I, I wish. Sure. Nah. I don't even know how you come across those schools, are bro. So did you have to go to bed at a certain time? Oh, bedtime's even another story, man. So like, in your seven and eight, in fact, no, this was straight for T11. You couldn't have your phone overnight. Okay, okay, okay. 10 p.m., in fact, no, when you're younger, 8.15 or 9.15, hand your phone into the office. You had a slot with your name on it. Slap it in the slot, head up to bed. But like, the youths that had brothers or sisters in the school knew already, so they brought in decoys, innit, or fake phones. Fairs. Look at what you. What, what sort of. Yeah. But then, like, there was always this? snitches in it. So it's like, if I ain't got my phone, you got your phone. I'm gonna snitch on you. Like, there was guys like that. So it's like, yeah. But it kind of made it more lit when you didn't have your phone because everyone would just vibe you in the reality. Your face, yeah, bro. it was actually kind of cold. Man said, man said. Yeah, no phones overnight. But then again, it was a thing like, cause the day students were in the GC. You didn't want to miss out like what was going on with the other guys that had the phone as well. So it's like, yeah. you want to have your phone so that you want to go to very different, you know what I'm saying, ends to like try and get your phone out. But, yeah, man. No, I don't think I could have done that, man. We had Saturday yeah, school as well. Still something. What Sorry? do you mean? Saturday school, bro. Like you had lessons on Saturday? Half day, yeah. 9 to 11 or 11.30. Then a waste of matches. time. But we had a long summer though. Our summer was like 10 to 12 weeks. <sighs> Wasn't that most primary schools? No, no, we had like a chance. month, innit? Primary school was just a month. Look, just primary or secondary? No. Wait, what are you talking about? Secondary, you know? Yeah, six weeks, no? It's not six weeks in secondary. How long is it? You get like, you finish like mid-July on my birthday. back in September. Yeah, so that's, oh six yeah, weeks. that is actually six weeks. You know? We finish like end of June. First. End of June? I think primary had bare holidays, actually. Feck, West Ham scored. Yeah, we're out, man. Like 53 minutes. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't really care. But, um, what was you saying? I said so, in primary, I think I had a long holiday. You probably did. Because yeah, there was no half terms in it. No, there was. Oh, there was. Yeah, there was, was half terms. There, there was. I had a longer one, though, I think. I think but, I'm thinking of America, bruv. America, they have bare long holidays. They. Because they don't do half terms. Yeah, like they. What is it? It's they have called semester, spring break, in it? That's Easter, innit? Is it? I swear. Bro, you can't ask me, bro. I, I swear spring break is Easter. Isn't it? Isn't that when their summer starts? I swear, how, they have like three months of holiday. I don't know how their summer works. There's no... They don't have... Because I think they work... They... they uh, I don't even know. I actually don't know how their school works. Everything. Their, their fi- system is flawed. Did you finish out of banks? Yeah. What did you think? It was all right. It, it was all right. As, it wasn't as like... Yeah. It was better season two though. Yeah, that, that just shows you that it's getting progressively worse. Throughout the season. season, I think season one, one was the best. I, I think they outdid themselves for season one, yeah. By accident, yeah. Yeah, they actually. didn't know what they they had, and then they just started forcing yeah, stuff out of banks. No, you don't watch series. No, you should watch it, no. man. Actually, I mean, like after that two mid seasons, is there any point? Fez, if I'm you not started watch it, it let's be, I'll be honest. You should watch The Last of Us though, and you should watch The Social Network as well. Like that person said. Yeah, you should actually watch that movie. I was oh, surprised yeah. when they messaged me. The Last of Us. What's that? What's that one? Um, HBO. Bro, yeah. that show slaps, man. It's, uh, that it's show got is that too guy hard. from Thing in it, um, Marcos. Yeah, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, fair enough. That show is too hard. Every week, it's a banging episode. Yeah, the Social Network. <clears throat> I mean, I told them I'll watch it. So, oh, so you didn't watch it? No. <laughs> what? Oh, you didn't even you didn't even go into work today, bro. <laughs> I worked, bro. I watched my. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's still actually fair enough. <laughs> wow, well, that film, <clears throat> I can't even speak about it. Oh, you can speak about it, bro. No, you Nobody's can speak about it. Mm. The first time I watched it, I didn't know it was about, I don't Neither know why I, I didn't know it was Neither about did Facebook. <laughs> Neither did I, even bro. though it shows Facebook, I yeah. just didn't know it was about Facebook <laughs> until I watched it like the second time. I was like, oh, this yeah. is what's going on. I mean, you can give, it's a two hour film, bro. It's, it's sick, lit, bro. though. It's sick, though. It's Andrew Graffles in it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I've seen something on TikTok about it, you know. Probably have. Yeah, probably. I, I saw some clips, but I, I just never watched the... F- you know, you can watch bare parts on TikTok. I probably watch you can watch episodes of things on TikTok. Why don't you just watch the thing, bro? Like, what's the point? Because it's on TikTok. It's successful now, isn't it? Literally. And I go and start it, and then you have to start from the beginning to get to the part you wanted to watch. That's like All-American, I remember. I saw like a couple of clips on TikTok. That's Godfather of Harlem. Ooh. I watched season one and never I watched, I watched season one. Yeah, that's um, what's his name, Forrest. Forrest. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Let 
Bless you, mate. <clears throat> Don't die for studio, man. Just tell us next time, <laughs> bro. Can record tomorrow. Sky. Right. Sky, man. Is they even a bin in it? No, there is not. Oh, Rashi's coming on, of course. Yeah, and uh, Martinez as well. Damn, Sam. What season did you watch? What? Godfather Harlem. Yeah, I watched season one. Forrest Whitaker. That's his name? The black, the black guy, yeah. Yeah, that's his real name. That's his, yeah, that's his real name. I don't know why I know better actors' names. I actually love films, fam. Weird. I'm oh, actually but... happy, huh? No, I'm just saying, definitely watch Last of Us, man. That show is too sick. Like, I would say that's one of the best shows I've watched. 100%. That's a big shout. 100%. 100%. Bro, go watch that show. Is there no slow starts? No anything? Like, it's just straight into it? No, nah, straight into it, store. Straight into how many, it. How many it's because it's based on the game. Is it the sc- scary game? Yeah. How many episodes are out right now? Seven. Seven by six. I'm telling you, man. Tell my word for it, bro. Okay, I'll ask. Mm. Is it about magic or anything like that? No, it's like zombie apocalypse. It's like The Walking Dead, but just so much better. I never yeah, watched, I never the, Walking watched the Walking Dead. I started watching it. I just, I got so bored. But no, it's so much better. Sorry, when you say zombie apocalypse, that's not my genre, in it? That's not my... Neither, uh, bro. I, I, give, I give things a That's your genre. It was, it's not my genre. I, genre. I hate bro. zombie apocalypse, but bro, <laughs> that show is sick. <laughs> No, that is that is that is genre. zombie genre, apocalypse zombie yeah, like no, magic no, stuff no, no that's no. your that's your he watches the that's same you stuff watch, no I don't wait so you never watched you Fate w- the Winks I watched two episodes <laughs> Game, of, Game of Thrones House right, of the Dragon come, man. Game, of, Dragon Game of Thrones come. are in cars like, yeah. House of the Dragon that's Dragon. Game of Thrones is, is fantasy <laughs> that's what that's what it is fantasy oh, <laughs> that's actually oh, that's, the, that's the general <laughs> what the hell so what's magic not fantasy it is, but like that's just that's too much. Game of Thrones doesn't have too much of that, though. I think Game of Thrones is more of a drama. It's fantasy, man. There's yeah, dragons, there's fantasy. Brav, man. But that's what I'm saying. It's dragons. not littered with all of that. It's just here and you there. I love that littered stuff, bro. Okay, but you watch Vampire Diaries? No, I haven't. <laughs> You're no, I lie. haven't. I promise you, I haven't. I haven't watched that show, and I'm oh not going gosh. to. I haven't watched that show. Oh, no, <laughs> I watched one episode and that was it. That's I crazy. haven't watched that show. Uh, I know a bad girl that I watched Vampire Diaries. Ex- everyone, Vampire all girls watch Vampire so Diaries. I watched Teen Wolf though. That was lit. <laughs> was <worse than> Vampire <laughs> Diaries? Lit. No, was Teen Wolf is lit. Teen Wolf, bro. Teen Wolf is lit, man. Teen Wolf is lit. <laughs> crazy. Like, what's that guy's name? Scott or something like that. Yeah, that Scott, man. Crazy. Hard, man. I can't watch any of this, bro. No, like originals, me, is the, originals is the best is the best series I've watched. Class, oh. Class Michelson, man. Wow. Nah, I ain't watched none of that. But I'm happy uh, Tommy won his fight. Word. I wasn't sure. Actually, no, I was sure. Even though that fight was ass. Actually, no, before the fight came, I thought it was going to lose. I don't, know why. I don't know why. I just had this inkling that, like, I don't know, man. Did you watch the fight? I lost money on that fight, bro. You actually put peas down on what? Draw? I had, no, I had Jake to win. You I thought Jake would, no, I didn't put, oh, I thought same. Jake was going to win. Same. But what, he, like, while, whilst watching the fight? Before. Before, before. Oh, yeah. I think whilst ev- watching. Everyone had it, Jake, because I thought, Boxing pressure, was corrupt, bro. No, I didn't care about there was no pressure on Tommy. I thought boxing was corrupt. I actually thought Jake could fight. Nah. I don't know why. I, I knew all Jake the, uh, This is my opinion. I thought all his fights were rigged, didn't it? All his other fights. There's no They're way rigged. you can knock out Tyron Woodley, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how old, old, those apparently he's old, though. How old is he? What bro, is you're he? a USC champion, bro. How old is he? He's like 50, though. No. That's, no, no, that's no. Addison... No, I, just, I don't know who silver? I don't know who else he fought. Yeah, my man. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. old, but oh, Tyron nice. Woodley's not old. Well, relatively. Sure. But those fights, you could tell they were rigged. Like even before he hit him, he did something with his gloves, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, what? no, that I thought that uh, the Tommy Fury, the Tommy one was going to be rigged as well. But bro, that was a that, that was, was a proper one. fight. Yeah. Yeah, that was a one. eight rounds. Like Jake was so bad. They I were, thought it was rigged for <clears throat> for it to be a draw. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. when I saw when I saw a man man get knocked down, then I saw him get a minus point, and then he also got Tommy also for, got yeah, for point holding. Like, which I thought, yeah, this is a rigged. I thought yeah. this is a rigged fight draw. And, and then Tommy dropped, but apparently he slipped. Yeah. No, he got dropped. He so. got, he got dropped. He got dropped. He got dropped. Yeah. He got dropped. That's just what poor box on the inside, isn't it? That's poof. Yeah, he actually dropped. Damn. Yeah, still. But I thought yeah. it was the right fight to be fair. I thought it was alright. It was no, they were hugging for most of it. 
Yeah, but Tommy still let off a few. That's let his hands I go. Like. Off I don't understand that. Well, I understand it, but it's annoying. Like them, that they were person. hugging for a lot of it. Like not even. And it was Jake initially. initially. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jake was. I don't know what type of fitness training he did. But <laughs> goodness gracious! No, yeah, I, I thought it was a right fan. Apparently, Logan's better than him. No way. I'm I'm starting to believe it because the some of the bangs Jake was throwing, yeah, crazy. He wasn't even looking; he'll be ducking and everything like that. Like, no, it was actually terrible. <laughs> Tommy was a much better fighter. Tommy's, he's a, pro- fighter, Tommy's a professional That's the thing, though. though. <laughs> yeah, his brother's like, and he's like, you know what I'm saying? But he would get smoked as well. Like, was, he's, he's not that good of a fighter, Tommy. He would get who is though? I, I, KSI. KSI, KSI would be him in a fight. Oof, KSI would sure. be him in a fight. I don't have him. I'm KSI would be him in a fight. I don't have KSI. I don't even remember KSI. Who did the KSI fight? Logan, isn't it? Well, yeah. Logan's like KSI. It's a bigger guy. Has KSI fought an actual boxer though? Yes, but no, but yes. Who? No. That last fight he had, yeah. that. <laughs> oh, what? That, oh, that on, was man. too funny. That That's was ridiculous. Too funny. What, we had two fights in one night? Yeah. Oh, get out of that it, was man. too funny. Yeah, Even that song was too funny as well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if guess I will be him, but you know. Congrats to Tommy. Good, man. Man. Congrats, man. Think? And what was that thing? happy for Molly May, though. Huh? Why? happy for Molly May, innit? Because I have won the book. That's okay. That's a baby dad, bro. Baby mom, that's his baby. You just be happy for Tommy. Why are you, why are you happy for Molly May as well? He's got no, a newborn at she home. She's got a newborn, bro. bro. You not see what she was going through, bro. What? Stress, isn't it? The stress. Stress. Yeah, she's going through stress, but raising the kid by herself, bro. Bro, she's she's breaded. There's no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bro, she, so because breaded. she's breaded, yes. that means that she's able to suddenly do all these things without stress. Yes. Without yes. Stress. Yes. Is that how it works? Yes. Man is a factor, bro. It is, man. Like, if you don't have to, she doesn't really have to leave her house. I mean, she, she works and obviously like, has to go out her house and do stuff, but she doesn't have a nine to five where she has to go in every day and like, she's her own boss type of thing. Mm. So, do you know what I'm saying? She'd be on maternity leave anyway. If she was exactly, nine, exactly. So, so, but I don't know. In terms of, I was saying, I, I, I was happy because of the whole, you know, on Twitter, there was someone saying, oh, yeah. How can man be focusing on boxing or whatever when she just had a newborn baby? I saw that as well. well I didn't see that. Someone was talking to me about it. That like, when she was in labour, Tommy was in a different country training or something like yeah, that. Working. And they were getting on to him. I ain't going to say much. That's his profession. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm going to say much, bro. That's, yo, that's yo. his profession, bro. Like, You're not okay. I don't <coughs> understand. Who's not okay? The Whoever said, said that, that bro. Okay, okay, yeah. Do you know how many women like go through this by themselves while their husband's working getting peas, bro? What's the difference? Mm. That's his job. I don't get it. No, no, what's your opinion? Hmm? What's your nah, opinion? Nah, nah, you can't do <laughs> this. Man, nah, don't try to do this, bro. bro. You have to release that. <laughs> I agree with, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm split. The, like, if we're talking about the day she's given birth and my man's in another country training for a fight, what? What? So he should stop camp? <laughs> I'm not saying he should stop camp. You know, quickly fly back for a couple of days. Quickly fly back for a couple days. That's not how boxing camp works, bro. Fez, I don't know how it works, to be honest. But I don't know. I'll try my best not to miss it. Nah, I can't lie to you. Like, wait. <clears throat> nah, I can't lie to you. Would you not want to be there? I would want... I want to do a lot of things in life, bro. I'm <laughs> working, though. Man. It's not as if I'm playing, I'm working. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Nah, he can't... Do it is... Because he's in camp. Cause he's in camp, my bro. When he's cause he's in camp now, he's watching. No, I said I'm watching, bro. It's cause I saw him watching his phone, bro. <laughs> cause he's in camp, he can't now stop camp to go back to then go back to camp. That's like five days out. Can't do that. Can't do that. So that's why he's like he had to just stay in the run up to a fight, bro. And even then, while she's giving birth and everything, people are still like, how can he be at camp still while she's at work? I mean, while she's with the kid. Thinking, bro, like most athletes, you're gonna go through that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let let me like <laughs> let you know now, innit? Like, if you want to go for an athlete, just know that you're gonna be by yourself at times, innit? Because man's got to train, especially boxing. Boxing, you have to go out like three, four weeks without bucking anyone, bro. You're just at camp. That's why it's called camp. Mm. Yeah. So that's what I feel like a lot, of, not a lot, but the girl that tweeted that said like she just didn't know. I guess if it was in the country, then I'll I'll. Hear it more, because with footballers, if their wife's in labour, they they come off for half. Sometimes they come off for half time and they go. I've seen that before. They'll miss the game. Some miss the game. Some miss the game. Some yeah. have, some will have left the game and they've gone to labour. Yeah, but a game is not the same as boxing, bro. Why not? 
True, like it's a match, one match, you don't, yeah. You don't, you don't get paid, bro. It's not a team sport. <laughs> and this is one of oh. Tommy's biggest paydays. Uh, no, sorry, this is Tommy's biggest payday. Yeah. I hear that. Like, he, he, he got a trade for that, if he bro. Was, if he was traded locally, then, you know what I'm saying? But obviously he wasn't trained. I don't locally. know where he was trained, to be honest. But it's yeah. in Saudi, right? I don't know. I don't think it was. I know Jake was in Saudi, but I don't know if Tommy was in Saudi. But, but either way, he's got to be in camp, bro. He worded something a bit poorly when he was like, oh yeah, like Molly's not been bothering me while I'm in camp or like with, about the baby and stuff. And I, then I, they I, got into him about that as well. I, I don't have an issue with that statement. No, nah, he definitely could have worded that better. She hasn't been bothering me. Like, that, bro, bro, you, you know some people, they, like, they don't have a, like their vocab is not um, advanced. Advanced. Not pro- that's it. Bro, he's a professional fighter. You should have media training, bro. You shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> yeah, but obviously, bro, like, I'll be real, like, some people just don't care. Like, you have to, though. I like. swear down, I don't know if, I'm, if I can say this, but you know how John Fu is a gypsy and yeah. his dad is a gypsy? He doesn't care about all that reading and writing stuff. <laughs> okay. He literally said it, bro. He don't care yeah. about reading and writing, yeah. bro. Like, he wants to fight, bro. So I feel like that's, well, maybe Tommy's embedded that a little bit as yeah, well. But John Fu is not really in, as in the limelight as much as his son. No, he's Even in the line, line, bro. Compared to his sons. I mean, I've seen him quite a few times. He's in the line, but compared bro. to his sons, though. Like, how many times have you seen him do an interview compared to his sons? He's in the line, line bro. Nah, but like, he can, yeah, but he can probably get away with it because he's not the one on the line. He's not boxing. I feel like with what you said with the bothering thing, I feel like he was just saying it in terms of like, yeah, she ain't, he ain't, she ain't messaging me. Yeah, you about, don't know what he meant. Uh, so you like, don't know what he He just meant. used the word bothering. Like, what other word would he use? Nah, you can definitely use a few other words, bro. Like, just she hasn't like, been messaging oh, like, me a lot. She's been doing well, like, even though I'm not there. Like, you can yeah, say yeah, anything, yeah. That, And that is media training. Because like, you're basically saying the same thing, but in a different way. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I mean, I hear it still. <clears throat> I, I understood what he meant, so I, I didn't have to now have it reworded for me to understand. You get it? Mm. But I get what you're trying to say. But even though, going off that, it's like, I was having a conversation with my friend. Oof, I'm struggling, bro. I was having a conversation with my friend. And let's relate it to us now. Cool. Let's say we want to be professional boxers. Oh, no. Sneeze. <laughs> Bless you. That's you, mate. Yeah, Do you want to turn this off? Turn this off. Yeah, that, I told you it was going to get cold. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn this off. I told you. I don't know how to even operate that. I'm going to cut what out. <laughs> no, this is cutting car, bro. <laughs> bro oh, do you want, you want to cut it out? No. What? Sorry, sorry. It's sorry. kind of chilly in here. Bro, I'm feeling yeah, it's chilly, man. bro. But yeah, um... <laughs> You're talking to your friend. Yeah, I was talking to my friend. And let's say now we wanted to be professional boxers. Oh. Or professional in one sport, in it. Mm. Cool. We know that we can't, like, do a nine to five and pursue an athlete, becoming an athlete. Mm. So to get bread in, would you not do like a side job? Wait, you have to say, yeah, ask the question again. Cool. So... Let me explain it better. Cool. So I was speaking to my friend and she was like, she can't speak to someone or she wouldn't speak to someone that is pursuing, becoming like an athlete or anything or like a musician right now and they're working a, a job in like Sainsbury's. Why? She said something like, because it's not secure. I was and thinking about this, you know. But it's not secure and that he's, because the, they're still trying to get to that position of becoming an athlete. Yeah. It's not secure and it's not a nine to five. Because a nine to five is secure. Mm-hmm. Whereas that is not secure. That's still ambition. How old is she? <laughs> How old is the person? <laughs> yeah. Our age, bro. The thing is, yeah, I hear, I hear where she's coming from. But at the same time, like, you'd have to look at the way she's talking is like, oh, I only want my man when he's achieved everything or what's he's Finished product. made. Yeah, once he's made it and stuff like that. And that's like, it's not, it's not the best look. Do you do know you what I'm d- saying? Do you know what it is though? I didn't know we've reached the age where a man can't chase his ambition right now. Do you, do you get what I mean? Because it's like, she just saw it, she just saw it as like, right, your ambition is something that's, I think he said he wants to go professional and uh, like a mad thing in it or something. I don't know. I can't remember. Like, I feel like she didn't see it as realistic. She's like, because it's not realistic to her, it's, it's like, 
is not secure. She can't really be with someone that is in that position right now. And she was really relating, relating it to herself as in like, she knows in like the next five years where she's going to be and all this stuff and that. Mm-hmm. Whereas with his thing, it wasn't guaranteed. Uh, I, she just doesn't believe in him, in that, I'll be honest. That's how I see it. But that's the thing though. She doesn't know him. They, like, it's like me moving to a girl tomorrow and saying that that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. She wouldn't take me in. It depends. That's what, it depends on the girl and your friend in this example, like, that's fair enough to her because she, she already knows, what would you say, like, in five years that... Yeah, where she'll be and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows, whereas the other guy doesn't know. So, like, that wouldn't be her type. So, that's what I'm saying. Fair play to her. Um, but there's other girls that would, like, if you were to say, oh, I'm trying to do this, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the best in the world, I'm, gonna, I'm doing this, this and that. There's some girls that will, like, love that enthusiasm and that drive and they find that attractive and then that's when they believe in you and stuff like that. So, I think it's just, it's either or, so your, it's your taste... So yeah. I don't think there's I don't, anything I don't wrong. hear the, the stability thing. Uh, let's say, I don't know, I want to be RD. He was in Amazon when he was doing music. What's not stable about that? But he's 18, bro. She's yeah. 21. Same age category. 18 to 21. You're doing the same thing. You're in uni. Yeah. So you might have just started working. Right? Even so you don't like, think we've got to the age where it's like, chasing your ambition or something like as ambitious as being a an athlete is like slightly over no Ian Wright became a footballer at 23 professionally it's obviously much harder same yeah, thing yeah. with like Jamie Vardy as well that was even later I think yeah that was much later so if I told you man tomorrow I want to drop my my my, my, my career my, my job yeah to pursue football what would yeah, you we'd, tell me? we'd give you your we'd give you our <laughs> opinions and tell you how realistic we think it is yeah. based on how much football you've been playing and everything like that. So if we say, oh, bro, you shouldn't do that because the chances of you making are slim. That's my opinion. Not that I'm hating. Yeah, it's true. I don't know. I was in two minds when, she, like, when, I, when I was speaking to her. I was like, like, I would hate for me to be in a position where I speak to a girl and I let her know that, oh, yeah, this is what I'm trying to get to. Like, I can't use podcasting because it's like, it doesn't take our, our time like that. Mm. But like, let's say I wanted to pursue boxing. I would hate to be in a position where I tell a girl, yeah, I'm boxing, but I work at a warehouse yeah. to, like, to get money in. Mm. I would hate for her to think, no, nah, I can't take you in. You just have to brush it. You yeah, me, it's like, is what it is. Like, there's, there's girls out there that will believe believe in you and still, yeah. how you know do you, mean? How do you make a girl believe in you when you just meet? Bro, some girls will, some girls won't, like you said. Like, some girls, when yeah. you have, like, your first, second conversations, they'll be like, okay, cool, like, I can work with that. Some girls will be like, no, nah, I'm not working with that. So it's not about making that believe. Some girls are just open to believing things anyway, kind of thing. Yeah, and it's about, like, I think it's about the way you sell it as well. Like, when you're first having a conversation about it, Obviously, you know it's gonna at this age. If you were to say, "Oh, I'm trying to become a professional boxer," you know you would have to sacrifice a lot of things. Yeah, and you'd have to, you'd have to explain that to her as well in that conversation about what you're doing to achieve that goal. You can't just be like, "Oh, yeah, I'm trying to be a professional boxer." It's like, bro, that's a pipe dream. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you trying to do? That's what a girl would be. A girl would be like, "What are you trying to do to yeah. achieve that?" So they so, want to know. So if I told you, like, yeah, I want, I'm like, I'm gonna drop out. No, not drop. Out. I'm gonna drop my job. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go full-time with training yeah. to become a Chelsea player. The thing is, I would say, like, I'll tell you my realist, uh, how re- realistic I think that is. But at the end of the day, if I can see you really want it, I'll tell you, go for it. But you'd have, I would let you know like how hard it's going to be and yeah. everything like that. So, okay, forget my football ability right now. Let's say I was... I don't want to say... I'm, I'm all right now, but let's say I was... Let's say you used to be an. Let's say you used to be an. Uh, used to be an academy player. No, I used to be academy is better. It's still like salvageable. First, let's say I'm below. I never made it to academy, but I was. You know them. There's ballers that never made it academy, yeah. but, but they're, they're still good. Yeah, let's yeah, say yeah. I was that sort of baller. Yeah. yeah. Uh, bro, it boils down to how much you want it. How much I see in you that you actually want it. Yeah, literally. Like I would just not in that second, but I would tell you that you'd have to do sacrifice so much. Da 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 and. If I see you can understand that, then I'll be like, okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Like, obviously, I'm not going to stop you. Be like, go ahead. But then, obviously, like, as the time goes on and I can see that you're not 
putting as much work as I think that you should be putting in, I'll let you know that. I don't even know how I'll let you know. You know, I'm actually shocked. I thought Mando would tell you, bro, man's talking about make it Chelsea at this age, bro. I thought that's what you might want to say. Bro, most of these footballers that we see on TV, bro, not all of them are ballers from young. Bear them were like in that non-league, semi-pro at 22, 23. But that's not realistic now, though. Why not? Like, becoming a baller. It depends on your ability right now, I'll be honest. You'd have to be sick. If you're not, if you're not training right now, then you know what I'm saying it's, it's tough. But if you wanted to say Chelsea player, that is yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. To be honest, yeah. Prem Prem is like it's pretty steep. Yeah. If you said you wanted to become a professional football player, well, yeah, like, or even semi pro, yeah. you want to get paid to go ahead. Football, fair enough. Like, that's that's very, I think that's very true. Yeah, very. If you if anyone wants to drop them, do that now. The hard work is still there, bro. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. I wouldn't say quit your job. Yeah. So if I said. If I said Man City, he was in nah, nah. Like, bro, you're, you're bugging still. That's the best team in the world, bro. But remember me when you make it still. <laughs> <laughs> if you make it, remember me. <laughs> oh, no, I just thought, like, rah, have we got to the age where girls can't be with a guy that's chasing his passion? It's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. No, it was 1-1 on before, then it got disallowed. Yeah, and then, I saw uh, that yeah. one. <laughs> Sorry, rah. I don't know. I don't know people that we've got to the age where people won't be with someone that they believe in their passion. I um, I understand it though. you have to convince them to date you because oh, you're... Is it a convincing thing? It is. Mm, in a way, To it an is, extent, cause yeah. Because there's people that... What was that noise? I bet. <laughs> I was about to say. There's, <laughs> there's people that follow the conventional route in life like, and in that conventional route is stability. Mm. And then there's other people that don't. It's like it's like risk and reward in yeah, in, yeah. in investment and everything. Like some people are more risk or averse, yeah. and then the other one. So that's just how it is with people and relationships and everything like that. Yeah, I saw it like that with her. So I just thought like, yeah, she ain't really yeah trying to take the risk as much as that. But I feel like if it was someone she was interested in, maybe she would take the risk. Why? How was she interested in him? So. <laughs> No, I think there was other things that she was just not yeah. Like, like if they were, I don't know, if they were talking before. Obviously, it's. Like you said, it's because of the age we're at. If you were to say this at like 16, it would be no problem. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I was like, have we got to the age now where it's like... You have to start having your life together. You have to start having your life together. You can't be chasing... Like... You just have to have realistic... Goals like that, innit? Yeah, you have to have realistic goals now. If you've got uh, an ambition and you've got uh, like a retail job on the side, how could... That's not you not having your life together. Really? Fair, but it's about what you're. It's about what you're aiming for. Exactly, you could be aiming very, very high, bro. But this is your situation right now. You've got a retail job and you've got this ambition. Yeah, but I feel like at this age, you do kind of have to have realistic goals. Yeah. If you're if you're, um, working a a warehouse job and you're playing, you're trying to play football. You're trying to go Premier League. Like okay, at this let's age, use, let's use music then. Music is, I different. Think music is different. You can blow tomorrow. <laughs> You could blow tomorrow, it's but still, still belief. it's like, not belief. No, but at the same time, it's like you're using your job to to like pay Fun. for studio session, bro. More yeah. time if you're doing studio session, you're doing your craft, your music, you're good. Mm-hmm. But yeah. with football, it's like or and no, I feel like it's football. With football, it's like it's a bit different. Or like main like yeah. sports in general, I think it's just different. Yeah, you she, have to put more said, time into that. If she said a guy said he wants to be in the prem. And he's not balling right now, and he's 22, 21. I understand that she's not really. What's, ball, what's balling to you, though? Like, like playing just football in general? Yeah. Like, he's just playing socially, like, we got goals. If that's his level, if that's what he's on right now, 22, I can't lie to you, and he says he wants to go Prem, I understand that you don't really want to go on with that. I understand that. Yeah. Because okay, let's like, say the chances are actually very, very, very slim. Let's say he's playing like Sunday League or something. Same thing, Allah. Um, Basically the same thing. Yeah, same thing. Because that's not hard to get into. Like, you could draw and start Sunday League join tomorrow, a, Yeah, you could just join any if team. If he's semi-pro, then I can't lie to you. Yeah, like, that's different. Uh, What's semi-pro? Semi-pro is like, you get paid, bro. Just not yeah. as much as these lot. Maybe like, okay, let's say he's not getting paid. Hmm. I said there's, there's like, what's non-league? Semi, Sunday pro, Sunday Sunday League or something? Nah, some, Sunday League is lower than non-league. Yeah, so let's say he's non-league. Non-league, what's the level where you're, you pay them? You pay them to play. Yeah. I said Sat- that's like Saturday. The Sunday league, then there's Saturday league. Saturday league's a bit higher than Sunday league. I didn't know that. Yeah. But there's okay. like steps. There's like steps eight, seven, six, five. Yeah, five, yeah, there is still. I remember. Step one's like National League. It's like Bromley, them sort of teams. They're professional. 
yeah, that's step one. And then step five, step six is like you get paid maybe like a bill a week or something like that. So, so it feels like step five, step six does come, I guess. Yeah. At 22. If you say you want to go pro, yeah, of course. That's that's not that far away at this age. Mm. If you say prem, oh, I can't lie to you. That's... But to be honest, it's like, with teams like Bromley and all these guys, like people in 95, certain 95s are getting paid more. Um, yeah. So, some of them, I'm saying. Some of the Bromley ballers are, I think they're doing pretty well. How much do you think they're on? Some of them are probably like, just say annual, annual, bro. Annual. Yeah, annual. Say the annual. Uh, annual. I don't think anyone's making more than thirty forty bags. Nah, they are. I think so. I think I think 50K, max. I yeah, think I think 50. max like sixty k. That's still smooth. Yeah, but like sixty k smooth. But that's top of the range. That's the best of the best. I think in at Bromley, exactly. But I, I don't know how finances work at that stage, <laughs> at that level, innit? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know too much about it, but I'm just thinking like growing up, we would know who the bowlers are. Yeah. And we know that they will get the what's that thing? The scholarship or whatever. I don't think you always knew going. who would get like, like, scholarship. We had a we had a guy back in the day that he played for one of these teams in it. And what is it? They will get something to now progress. It's like a contract, but what is it? Scholarship. Get scholarship contract. or something. Yeah. That's scholarship like where? 16. I like the academy. academy. Oh, okay, yeah. You don't know what I'm talking about? I mean, yeah, I know, I know what you mean, but like scholarship. <sighs> Let me just use one guy. Cool. Remember, you know Eze, Chris Palace? Yeah. I swear he was working. What, I swear they did a documentary on him. He was working in like Tesco or something like that. Do you get it? Imagine oh, if it was... What age? He got dropped from academy, so it was like I'm sure 15, like, 16, yeah. something like that. But he was working. Oh, yeah. That's good. When did he get back into it? I think he's older now. He yeah, yeah, yeah. He of went course. on trials. He's about twenty four now. Man went on trials and yeah. Okay, imagine a girl was speaking to him, and he was working in Tesco, but he's trying to make it professional. I think that's 16, very achievable. When he was sixteen, though. I don't think he was sixteen. I don't think he was sixteen. I think he was a bit older than that. Maybe like nineteen. Maybe. 1918, something like that. Oh, cool. like, if I tell you that you are, I got dropped from a couple of academies, but I'm working at Tesco trying to get back into it, and you don't believe me, cool. I think that's diff- that's different though, because you've got the you've played with these guys, you've played yeah, with like, these you teams. Know you're yeah, capable. But are girls gonna think like that though? I don't think they will. Yeah, yeah they'll yeah, just yeah. see it as oh, so yeah, they you know, you're actually not up there right now. Uh, I don't want to. So you told them you used to play with Arsenal. They'll be like, all oh, right, really. Yeah, but Arsenal holds weight though. Like, everyone, yeah, knows Arsenal, exactly. Right? That's that's the, that's the same situation with him. If you play for Arsenal. Played for, they play for some other teams. I can't remember. I think Arsenal or Chelsea. I feel like with girls, it depends on what team you play for. In it, like if you if you say a, a team that everyone knows, like they, they yeah, that's what, up, exactly. They hear Arsenal, Chelsea, or like United, or yeah, or like City. They're like, oh, money. I don't know, man. I just feel like when I heard her say, it, I was like, I didn't know what at that age yet. Like where it's like you can't take in a guy that is. They yeah, play for Arsenal. I was I I didn't know what that is where you can't you can't take on a guy that's doing a, a side job trying to provide for his main craft. God, man, it's just football is just extreme. So it depends on how realistic the goal is. Yeah, damn, literally. We're well, at that age now, man. Like it wouldn't be like this the other way around. That's what that's what I found so funny. <laughs> like if a girl said, "Oh yeah, I want to have a." a six, seven figure business and she hasn't started anything. You're not going to tell her, I don't believe you. But would you be, I don't know, man, like that's, I mean, it's not the same, but it's like, it's, it's like, why at this age and a girl's trying to tell me she wants to be an influencer. Yeah, it's like, you'd want your girl to be chasing something kind of realistic Tangible. and secure. Yeah, yeah, as well. Not to the same degree as girls want men to, but you do want that as well. Yeah, if, if a girl said she wants to be an influencer, like, you can, the thing is, you can do it on the side though, while you're doing yeah, whatever. Yeah. See, that's yeah. That, I, was, I was trying to think of something that you have to put that first more than this, like the um, job. I'm trying to think. I can't. I don't know. A like, content creator is a bit different. Like you can just do that on the side. Eventually, it has to become a full time job though. But that's when you start starts Making booming. Piece. Yeah. I feel like so. Obviously, you're doing well. Nah, that would be dumb. Maybe girls just have it easier, man. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> 
Maybe. I'll be honest, I don't know at this point. Maybe she would, if I can't said, think of anything that they can't have a job and then do their side craft. Maybe they want to be like a netball player or something like that. I don't know. I've never spoke to an athlete girl, you know. Neither have I. Would you man act? Would you man do that though? <laughs> I think you I'll, would. I think I'd be beautiful, you know. Well, yeah. She okay, yeah, yeah. Why not? Like, like you know the Naomi Osaka and um, the oh yeah, um, my man. He's always yeah. in the, he's always in the stands watching this girl, bro. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, what's his name? Um, Corday, Corday, yeah, Corday, yeah. That's dope, man. I saw she's even pregnant. Huh? Yeah. Is she? Yeah. She might have had a kid already, bro. <laughs> what? In the way she's pregnant, Naomi Osaka, five pound. Five pound, little bro. I'm not, I'm not better than your money. Five pound, little bro. I'll check it right now. Yeah, she's, I swear she's just played in um the thingy open. Australian? Yeah. Did she not play? No, wait, I'm not bugging. I didn't see her play. Nah. I swear to God, I saw she was pregnant. Oh, she's oh she is, you know. Yeah, she's like, pregnant. Her child pregnant. This year. pregnant Naomi Osaka hits practice court. I said she's still practicing. Yeah, bro, she's pregnant, bro. She fell off, though, man, I'll be honest. So did a lot of them. Um, Emma already can't you. Not Ooh. trying to, not trying to get onto her, but Ooh. I want to ask you. Like, I feel like so she's overrated. Young. The thing is, yeah, I feel like she won US Open. She got paid millions. She's still nineteen or whatever she is, and she was like, you know what? Like, let me just live my life for a minute. Like, yeah, I don't think she did anything wrong. I feel like everyone else did by hyping her. I suppose she like ranked number one. No, yes, she is in the world it, for um. For Britain, maybe. For, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, for, yeah. Britain, for England, maybe. maybe. Not, in the, not in the world. Not in the world. I don't know. I don't really watch tennis, so I don't really know. But I just knew that uh, she was pregnant. She, yeah, she, yeah. I'll, I'll really definitely want to, I'll definitely want to be in the stands for my girl, watch for like whatever sport. Because I'm bare competitive. So my competitive will go through her in it. So I'm, 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 I'm what's it? I've always wanted really to use the phrase that like, believe in my belonging, bro. What's that word, bro? Believe in your what? You know, like your. <laughs> You have to brush that one, bro. Yeah, bro, bro. I know what I'm trying to say, but forget it, man. I, can't I thought that, that might be a deal break, you know, if other way around, I'm a sportsman and my girl isn't like my biggest supporter. Like, she's not like competitive. She doesn't want me to win that bad. Like, she's cool if I win, but like she's not there like every game. Not obviously not every game, but she's not like mad passionate about it. I don't think it would be a deal breaker for me because I maybe she just was isn't uh, like with me. I can be passionate about any sport. As not, like if it's my girl playing it, exactly, I'll, be, I'll become passionate, exactly, because exactly. I know how it is in my head about sports and how to win and all that jazz. Yeah, but some girls weren't brought up in a thing of. Oh, I don't really care if he wins or not. Cause like let's say, let's use Savannah and LeBron. Yeah, I'm sure she didn't grow up thinking, yeah, I care about basketball so much. Blah blah blah. I like, think she they, did. They were together at a young age. Yeah, I think she That's did. Like, but, I'm, but I'm saying from between ages one and fifteen, bro. I'm yeah. sure she didn't really care about it like that, unless she had a brother or something that was in sports, maybe. Yeah. But I'm sure she didn't grow up thinking, oh, yeah, I care so much about basketball. Maybe I'm not. I'm sure she then developed it more as LeBron grew. She don't have to love basketball before me and me. But like, because I love it, you should love it because of me. If that makes sense. I feel women are able to do that. I feel like they just love you and then it just shows. Yeah, if you, if you love what I do, yeah, yeah. I feel like as it grew, she then started to love the sport maybe because she always has to be there. Mm. Like, she'll grow to know what's happening. Like, I'm sure she can't go there and feel like, oh yeah, what's the charging power? I'm sure she knows the whole game in and out. Nah. He's a runner. Yeah. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah, but she's yeah. got kids that play as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, like, she's like, I, I feel, that's her life now, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get it? Like, she's just, fo- um, I said football, she's just basketball, bro, which is mad. Bro. Since what, 18 high school sweethearts? Do you get it? That's beautiful, though. Yeah, but no, uh, no, I bet sweet. she was always um, supportive and like just as competitive as he was while watching him. Why? Just because, like, she grew up with him doing that. Like, if you were to speak about someone like who's who's what basketball players are dating someone, someone like Kendall Jenner and who's she going out with? Devin, um, Devin, Devin Booker. Booker. Yeah, that's like, a grown up. Yeah, yeah. I think they broke up and got back together. Oh, yeah, or whatever. Like, you score again. She, I haven't watched the game. Um, she would probably she probably wouldn't care if anything happens. You think? Yeah, she probably would not care at all. Do you, it's the, I feel like they grow the passion as long as like with the love that they grow for you, bro. So I feel like that's how it, I think it comes hand in hand. Yeah, you would hope so. Yeah, <laughs> hope so. you would hope so. It's, it's, yeah, I get it, actually. I get what you're trying to say about deal breakers, still. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say. Because like, imagine, imagine with footballers. Yeah, game finishes, you come home, the girl's just like she's there. You've lost the game, she's just both. Exactly, she's just both. Exactly. Like, she's not there. Oh, baby, it's all right. You know how who? You know what I'm saying? 
Like, but would you want that? Yeah, bro. I don't want us to understand the severity of the situation. Imagine losing Champions League. Imagine, um, imagine exactly. you come home from losing and she's like, oh, babe, uh, this didn't brunch with the girl. Shut up, bro. <laughs> I'm not trying to hear any of that right now. Just lost the final. Talk lost to, Champions League talk final. To she, tries, night. she tries to say, yeah, babe, let's go out. I tonight. want a new bag. I, I want a new bag. How <laughs> <laughs> that, bro? <laughs> that's a deal breaker for right, me, man. What, that one, Imagine, bro. and that's because she doesn't really care about football. Nah, bro. You don't have to care about football, but care about the fact that I play it. So because of that, you know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I would want that still. Yeah, I definitely want that. I have to support what I do. But I would, I would, I would, like right now, what would I prefer? Would I prefer to drop out and become a sportsman, or would I prefer to watch my girl be a sportsman? I don't know. Like it's like it's so fifty fifty for me. I don't, I don't want, I don't know if I want to be a, a Which sports one person. Would you rather do? Yeah, right now, drop out. Um, you will be a sports person. Hundred oh. percent. I don't think so. But I wouldn't aim for the prem. But it is though. Like I wouldn't do what is with me. I'm very competitive, bro. I wouldn't want to do something that just be like okay. Actually, let me not say I wouldn't aim for the prem. You get like I can't. I can't try be the best I can be. You get me, and I have I have a bad not a bad thing, but I have a thing where like once I'm in it, bro. There's no one better than me, bro. Like realistically, there is like you can't but, just you can't admit it to yourself. Though. I can't admit something like for example, boxing. Yeah, I would never admit someone can punch me up in boxing. <laughs> That's more that. Then that pride comes into it, though. And then you get knocked out. <laughs> I feel like, do you know what though? I feel like Floyd, all these greats have that, though. Probably, yeah. Do you get it? I feel like they have that. They know that no one can beat me, bro. I don't care if you, I don't care what your size is, bro. I don't care. Once when they're ready, I'm beating you, bro. I have that, bro. I don't know why. But don't, don't you think like every boxer says the same thing? Yeah, but that's confidence, though. That's how they sat them. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's yeah. like, you can't have that. It, if you don't have that, I don't think you should be boxing. Oh yeah, true, one hundred percent. Imagine you go into a fight thinking, "Oh yeah, that guy can box." That guy's still. big, still. No, nah, allow it, bro. That's it. Bro. You already defeated yourself. You have, you've defeated just say, "Yeah." Because like yeah. when you get hit in the ring, now it's like, "Oof, this guy's strength." Ah, <laughs> yeah. you've really lost, yeah, bro. You start exaggerating. It's like, it's like I feel like they go into the ring thinking, "Yeah, cool." Your right hand can, you like you're tough, but my right hand's better. Yeah. Do you get it? And it might not be. It might not be, but they've convinced themselves. Yeah. And yeah, that's then, why you don't want to be naive, though. I don't think it's naive. It might be. Like, let's say he has a longer reach than you. Uh, I don't know. Like, you think, oh, you know, that, that doesn't mean that's not right into it, but it doesn't mean you're going to lose. Yeah, it doesn't mean you're going to lose, but I'm saying that you should, like, go into the ring. Like, let's say you're up against, like, your toughest opponent. Yeah. Don't be like, oh, no one's better than me. Da, da, da. Like, I mean, yes, you should, but you should also recognize that this guy is a very good fighter. Yeah, 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 respect yeah. him. Respect you know, what I'm yeah, respect exactly. Respect, respect your opponent. Fighter, yeah, but just you know, what I'm yeah, saying? still back respect yourself. your opponent, but have the same mentality. Yeah, just back yourself, isn't it? That's... Like, never just think you're just gonna walk it. It is though. Even though I've been in boxing, it's just a little bit, just a tiny bit. I've, I've, like, I've got, I've held a few bags in boxing, mm-hmm. like when I was sparring. I still think if you give me tears, bro, I'll, I'll, I'll punch you up, bro. I don't care. <laughs> And they could have been in for like six years, bro. Give me two years, bro. I'll punch you up, bro. I don't care. <laughs> and that's like I don't know if that's madness, bro. But I'll, I'll be real. Bro. So if if I had to choose between watching my girl become a sports person mm. or me, I don't know. It's like, do I see myself becoming like a, a, a undisputed champion in boxing, bro? Like that's mad, bro. The thing is, that I feel like if I drop out and I put everything into the sport. Mm. I just, I just, I feel like I could do it, bro. But it's like, why don't you do that then? Oh, that was hypothetical, not, <laughs> not realistic for you. What do you mean? I said, I don't actually want to do that. Why? I just don't. I'm not passionate enough about it. I've actually thought about it better. I'm like, why don't I just like drop everything and just try and play football? I'm like, I don't, I just don't want to do it. That's why I said, I don't know if I'll drop and do boxing. Like, look, these footballers love football to bits, bro. They breathe Can... football. I don't breathe football, like, I love it, but I don't heart like drop everything, just play football. I don't love it that much. I'm yeah. Saying. Yeah. I, I, I feel like I'm, I prefer like what I'm doing now, I'll be honest. Or what I'm trying to get into. Yeah. I might do like, I don't know, like with boxing, you might just like join a club or signs like every Thursday. Yeah, same thing with football. Football, like join a club, like that's cool. Dude, it is though. It's like, imagine if I drop out now, not drop out, sorry. If I imagine if I join a club and I'm like, cool, I start doing that, I get good. One year, two years. They're like, yeah, you're ready. That's crazy. Like, I, I, I'm a bit scared of that. You'd you have know? to jump, though. Huh? You'd have to jump. 
bro, jump. If I'm playing football and someone says, I can't lie to you, like, you might as well, you know. You got what it takes. Go for a trial over there. I'm going. Wait, we're getting, yeah, we're yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If someone scouts you, we're going to say, no, no, of course not. They've seen something in you. Same with you. They've seen something in you. So why would you, you know what I'm saying? They're not saying that for no reason. I must have known someone the other day. They said my knuckles are hard. I said, bless. I said, what, do you, do you box? I said, nah, bro. Your knuckles are hard. Yeah, man. A man said that to you. <laughs> okay. Fair, isn't it? Like, fair, isn't it? I don't know why, but you know, I appreciate the compliment, bro. You get it? How do you even, I don't know how you'd even, nah. You know what I'm I feel like, as I was saying at the beginning, like, just being dumped in a room with like strangers, they was sharing a bed with, or sharing a room with pause. Sharing, <laughs> sharing, sharing a room with, innit, yeah? I felt like, no, nah, come on, man. Slip of the tongue, slip of the tongue, what? Um, slip of the tongue, pause, bro. Um, yeah, how I was like dumped into like sharing a, a room with like seven strangers that developed my ability to just talk to anyone. Mm. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. But then again, I don't, I'm not anti, but it's like, if I walk in a room, I'm, if I don't know you, the chances of me speaking to you, bro, minimal, I'll be honest. Especially if I'm with people I know. Like, why am I, why am I speaking yeah, to I you? Yeah, I don't think I'll socialise with you. Unless there's like a you? mutual connection or yeah, mutual... Yeah, unless it's like some sort of event where, you know, you try and get to know new people, network, whatever. Have you ever tried going to like these networking events? No, I haven't. My friends told me to come to some, but I just I haven't got around to it. I got invited to one, but I didn't go. How does it work though? Like, I don't get it. Like, everyone comes in listen to a talk yeah. and then they say like nibbles after and yeah, then you're all just talking. Interacts. Yeah, apparently. That's terrifying. <laughs> what do you mean? That's terrifying. Like you'd have to, you're walking up to someone, it's not even like a, just a calm conversation. You you want something from them. Yeah, but it's mutual though. They want something from you. Maybe. But you never I know. I don't have anything to yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh yeah. <there's, laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like Tell we're going to it. Tucky, <laughs> I'm a CEO of this company and that company. I'm like, bro, I just, I'm a student. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a student. I ain't, I ain't got nah, nothing going on. I'm just trying on. to get into what you do, but what you got to offer. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't see it like that, but it's like, I don't know. I just don't know what I'm doing there. Do no, you know? I would definitely try and gain something. I feel like it's, it's beneficial because like, maybe you know someone that in the future, you'll know someone that does this yeah. and you do this or whatever. Mm. But I don't know. Maybe I'll try it, but I don't know what I'll try it in. Like, I don't, I don't know. You see what I was saying, how like, if we're going to delve into something, we want to be the best, the best we can be, yeah? yeah? Are we the same with girls? Uh, so like, because some man will look at someone like, nah, I'm not there yet. I don't think I can reach that level yet. But like, surely if you believe in yourself, you just go for it. So, what was your question? You see how we said, like, with boxing or football? Yeah, yeah. If we were to take it seriously, like, we believe we're the best that yeah. we can be, whatever. We're trying to be the best we can be. Yeah. We now transcend that into girls. It's like, is it the same mentality? So, like, if you see someone that maybe is a little bit out of reach, would you still believe you can get her? I know I can get her, but I just know right now. So, what? You know you can get her, but just not right now. Yeah, I feel like that's the same with football, bro. Like, I'm not... I'm good enough to play that. I'm just not there right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear it. You get it? So I feel like that's the same. Again, I don't know if that's just me being cocky or something, but... I don't think that's... I just think that's... I, I, think just that's cocky. I, I don't think there's anyone that... Can't get... In the least arrogant way possible, yeah. I just think it's so weird. No, but like, the to... only reason I wouldn't say that is because, like, everyone's got a type, bro. Yeah... Yeah, everyone's got a type, bro. I don't care about your type, bro. I'll get like, it. Realistically, obviously, like, not everyone on the planet is, you know what I'm saying? But Attainable. Yeah. What are you going to say, though? No, I'm just going to say, I think it's weird that you have to have something to um, be considered by someone else. No, it is weird. Very no, weird. it is weird. I must have said it one time at my friend's place and my boy looked at me like, bro, like, no, that's not how it should be. I was like, what? Like, you shouldn't have to have, like, a nice car or... Yeah. Red or... Like... A shape up. Oh, that's so funny. Because I was speaking to my cousin, yeah, and he showed me this girl, and I was like, why don't you chat to her? He's like, I'm not driving yet. I was like, what? I was like, is that what it's like now? You don't it's drive? It's been like that, though. But, like, actually saying... I would never say that, though. I don't think I'd ever say that. 
That's you how it is, it man. I've, I've said it still. I don't think I'd say it now. I said it. I've said it still. No, because now it's like, cool, I drive, but I don't care. But <laughs> like, I'm still going to, you know what I'm saying? Worst case scenario, fair enough, on to the next. That's how it is now, man. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> I'm not going to say, you know what? Nah, not right now. When I get a new car, I can't lie to you, nah. In um, fact, maybe I'm lying. <laughs> maybe I'm lying. Well, it's, it's, I think that is always going to be there until you're there or you, until you're that, like, until you're, you're full form or whatever. Yeah. Just Because right now, we're not in our primes, bro. I'll be real. But like, would you see someone and be like, nah, I'm not going to move them yet. When I'm, I'll try again. Or I'll try then. Mm. I've, I've done that before, yeah. Like, I've moved them and I just never showered. Because of X, Y, Z. Fizz. I don't, I don't know. I've never, I've never actually looked at a girl and been like, oh, I don't think I could get her or something like, no, not even to sound looked, cocky, no, but no, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, I just never thought that, oh, she's too good for me. Like, I've never thought that. My thing, no, I've never thought she's too good for me. Right now or anything like yeah. that. Oh, she's too good for me. Right? I've never, I've never no, thought Too good, that. I've never thought that. But I've just thought, good. I've just thought, ugh. Maybe she's got more bread than me. <laughs> no, but like, and I just wouldn't show. I'm almost bipolar with that. Like sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, let me just leave it. Then like she could be older than me, nicer car, new place or her own place, and I'm still going in. Doesn't matter. Tomorrow I might be like, mm, just take it easy. It, it <laughs> depends on what side of the bed I wake up on, man. Have I tried that? I don't even know. Bro, sometimes I can't like. Just, like sometimes it's just hell Mary, bro. Like, hell Mary. <laughs> Touchdown, touchdown. If no touchdown, you get the odds. You know what I'm saying? But know. sometimes it, it, what if like, you fumble the ball, bro? What if words, fumble, man. Next words. play, man. You know what I'm saying? Just what if this tail the ball for me, bro? That's a turnover, bro. God, take risks, man. What are you gonna say? I'm just saying. Sometimes it makes it makes sense to leave it. Like, for example, let's say you, you chat to her, you move to her, and then she's telling you like she's got her own apartment and her own car and everything like that. She's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. whoa, buddy. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I just finished uni, bro. Word, like, word. I, I, I used to have my own place. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. See nah, what I'm saying? Like, Jokes like that should should they should take you in for that? They <laughs> 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 should take you in for that. That's personality. That's a risk. That's, but, like, that's what they should though, take you like, for. You're, I feel like that's life, though. Like, like man's showing my personality on. The pod in it a bit, but I wouldn't show this to a girl. Yeah, right. As of like until gradually work deep in, yeah. So mm. I don't know, man. Like if she had her own place, oof, no, still, depends on the age. Still depends on the age. Depends on what. Bro, kind of sometimes confidence is that's it, bro. Like sometimes confidence just gets you through the door, isn't it? Like, what keeps you in the door, though? More attributes, man. Composure. Money, bro. Do you mind see that Michael Jordan interview? With, with um, what? With that... Gideon Waller. No. Who's Gideon Waller? Really done a podcast. I saw, no. I saw oh, clips Gideon. of that. I saw oh, what Wait, what did you think I saw about? I thought he said some other name, bro. I don't know who they were. I, didn't, I don't, you know. don't know them. No. What? Million Dollar Pop? Gideon Waller. It's a foreign I said it again. <laughs> no, but my man said it like Gilly Warlow. <laughs> Gilly Warlow. I thought that was one person's name, bro. <laughs> nah, I saw I, I, I don't think I've seen no. that one fully. I wasn't talking but you're talking about, about the one on the red carpet or something like that. Yeah, it? with the the, the yeah, woman, yeah, 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 that was too funny. That yeah, was seen too it. funny. Oh, so, sorry, sorry, man. <laughs> so have you seen the interview, bro? With oh, the one um, on the red carpet, bro. The yeah, woman, the woman. When a woman interviewed him. What did she say? He must have, she must have just been asking him a question about his Creed Three film. Yeah, and she was like, he was like, oh yeah, we went. To, she was like, oh yeah, we went to the same school. And he was like, oh, yeah, I was the corny kid. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, was too yeah, funny, yeah, man. Yeah, I remember. That's the best feeling in the world, you probably. And then she was like, "Oh, I didn't say it like that." Was, oh, she my was rattled. Gosh. Yeah, I remember that. She was rattled, of course. But like, um, she definitely said it like that. That's the thing. Mums, mums, mums. She definitely said it like definitely that. Definitely borderline bullied this. That <laughs> no <laughs> cap. For him to bring up, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you definitely yeah. like, yeah, you definitely were goodness only gracious. Like and now you're interviewing him at his premiere. Oh feel, my that must gosh, feel tough, man. Oh my gosh, that's so awkward. I wouldn't even oh, want to go interview him. I would, Avoid all eye contacts. Yeah, I would avoid the eye contact. Everything. But, like, she definitely didn't have shame, still. So. Yeah, word, word. It might not be a choice. Maybe boss that you're interviewing my man. Like, get it. Bro. We need that for the company. Like, nah, pride would 
get the bear of me. I'm not doing that. You can fire me. I'm not doing that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm doing that. that. That's Interview crazy. someone you bullied. Goodness gracious. <laughs> then, there is, like, I'm sure she thought, yeah, she's like, oh yeah, we went to the same school. That's it. <laughs> nah, no, you, you were talking on my name back then. Well, she might have thought, oh, he might not draw me out. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He might just leave it. And then, bro, boom. He did, he, he, did, he did well not to embarrass her. Yeah. yeah. You could have done much worse. You could have done much worse. Absolutely. You really Damn want this sure. interview? <laughs> nah, she could have so drawn her, bro. So drawn her. 100%. You lot going to watch the film, bro? Yeah. I want to. It's out Friday. March the yeah, I want to, man. I might go see Why it. Why would you not? I don't know, man. Let's go, man. <laughs> let's, let's go, yeah, let's go. It's in IMAX as well. No, I allow it, man. I'm not I going still to don't know what IMAX... Oh, you haven't. You might haven't watched a movie in IMAX. I have. Does that just mean like bigger screen or like better sound? Bigger louder. screen, much louder. Oh, bro. it's too so loud, like, some, bro. It's like, yeah, it's at some point, it's too bro. loud. Sometimes normal 2D is calm, yeah. man. I'm no, like, mother's life. Like, no, it's really, hard is it? What's the price difference, though? Uh, I mean, it's not. Maybe like three, four pounds extra. He doesn't watch the price, bro. Yeah, I don't. I honestly, like, you Sorry. know, I picked the the best seats. I don't care. I'm almost picking no random seat on the left or the right. <laughs> you can't see seeing the movie at an angle. Like, no, no. That's, no, that's, 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 that's yeah, you true. have to be in the middle. I'm in the middle of the back. <laughs> so, so you're them guys that if someone's in your seat, Wait, bounce. Of course. Bounce. Bounce. Oh, I'm, when I go to cinema, I don't look at my seat, bro. No, bounce, man. No, Sorry, I don't look at my seat. I just go in. 100%. But more times, like, the cinema's not even empty. I mean, the cinema's, like, empty. If you, yeah, but like, if you go on, like, the day release, release, yeah. You're going to get boy. if you don't see what you're meant to I'm see. sure everyone will have shame to sit where they born, bro. They should. Especially on the premiere day. Which, so you're trying to go on the premiere? Friday. No, it will actually be packed. Michael B. Jordan, oh my gosh. It's going to be packed for a few days, though. Yeah, especially this like, week. Even on Monday, Sunday, Sunday Monday. It's still no, gonna be it won't be as packed as Friday. Saturday, Sunday is still going to be packed. The weekend will definitely be packed. packed but Friday will Monday be packed. Will be cool. Friday, yeah, Saturday night as well, to be honest. Of course. But yeah. Monday, Monday, I don't think Monday will be, Monday will be all right. No, Monday is a working day, so people will be like, nah. I remember um, when Spider-Man No Way Home came out. I went to watch it on the premiere. Packed, big ass for yourself. Packed. There was just one guy. He was walking down to go to the toilet. He stacks and he fell down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, you know me. Yeah, I'm staying down. <laughs> I'm staying imagine, down. Imagine you know everyone date. erupted into laughter. <laughs> I <could> not. <laughs> oh. I said, "Ain't no way that can never be me. No, 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 that no. could never be." Imagine me. if he was on a date though. I, he was with someone. I don't know if he, I, I don't know if it was a date, but bro. That is not. I'm so sorry. He fell down the stairs. Yes. Well, like yes. from like, from like high up. Yeah, man. Which cinema is this? Odeon, bro. Dead. As in the, those stairs down in the, the middle. Right. Yeah, man. Oh, middle. No, no. Like left is left and right. It was on the left yeah, hand side. Yeah. Imagine if down the middle, that'd be that's ten times worse. Wait, as in the escalators? No, no, no. no. In, in the, the theater, screen. in the screen. We're watching oh. a movie. Watching the screen, a movie. Bro. This guy gets up to go to the toilet. <laughs> I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Falls down the stairs, whole place of rush into laughter. I, <laughs> no, that's no. bad. That's nah, bad. No, I'm sorry. That's, that's the, bad. That's bad. That is terrible. That forget. is bad. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'll come back in. I'm not coming back in. I'll pay yeah. for the next one. Yeah, <laughs> next one <bro. laughs> I'll pay for the next one. I'm bro. definitely not coming back in. I'm not. I won't be. Even though it's dark. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm going to yeah. Oh, See my you, gosh. One minute. 100%, bro. I'm not coming back in. <laughs> that would be my most embarrassing <laughs> moment. You come back in, they start laughing. No, 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 no. You're good, man. You're good. You're good. Oof. Damn. What's plans for this week, man? But I, feel, I say we just go watch the film. I want to go roller skating, though. I've seen yeah, a lot of people skating. to do that. My boy, actually. My boy and some other people. I want to learn how to do it properly. I'm not actually decent at it. So, like, are you that guy that has to uh, handle, like, all the, the wool? No, nah, occasionally, but... <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Like... Who was it that had to, they kept slipping? Fries. Fries, hey! Oh, hey. It's scary, I man. Phantom Phil was bad, man. Always bare, on man. his ass when I kept... I want to ask that it, but like, it wasn't my fault. It was once. I made it all fall. It was that, but like, the person stopped straight in front of me and like, I tried to move direct, change direction like mad quick and I just... No, like, I was about to stack and I dragged someone down to keep my brother. Yeah, you're violating. Suicide bomb. But I didn't do that on purpose, but like, it was just a natural instinct to grab something, in it? I was like, like so I you grabbed him. I didn't even know who it was. Just grabbed them. They fell. I said sorry. It's like you're good, you're good. That's, that's oh, my bad. White guy, in it. Yeah, man. I just continue. That was a black guy. Could be a different story still. <laughs> like, bro, what are you on? Boom. 
Batman. Imagine beef with someone on skates. That's I'm just scared off, bro. I don't care, bro. I'm just, uh, <laughs> you see that someone got stabbed in um a gym in Nottingham. Wow, we need to change the topic. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Wait, you guys are talking about fighting. It just wait, came to my mind. Where did it change the mood, bro? It just came to my mind. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I didn't see this though. Wait, bro. In a it. gym? Yeah. In a gym. Like, where everyone's working out? Yeah. It's crazy. Now after the gym. It's crazy. How dumb could you... Nah. Is the guy right? Um, yeah, I don't think it was life-threatening. It wasn't life-threatening. How dumb could you be? That many witnesses, I don't know what time it was. It Forget was what it's, it's even cameras. cameras. Yeah, there's cameras. I mean, they were badly got, but... Crazy. Do do, man. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the rest of your life. Is it gang-related? I have no clue. I have no clue. Even they're talking on the gym, bro. I saw one video. One guy was trying to bench. Bro, you... Let me tell you. You gym people, like... Yeah, I know there's a no touch on the bar when you're benching, but bro... If you can see a man is struggling, help him, please. I would have beefed him, I'll be honest. I would have beefed him. I would have... What are you mad? What happened? Basically, like, so the guy... It was a guy trying to bench. I think it was a new PB, in it. Mm. Someone else is recording him. And there's a guy um, that's spotting him, in it. So, like, I think it's 140. He's put it up now. He's taking it down. He's got, like... He's gone up, like, maybe, like, 40% up. It's just there. Now he's dropped it again. Now it's on his chest. <laughs> Obviously, he's not going to pick it back up. Yeah. The guy that spotted him just standing My there. Terrible, he hasn't bro. moved a muscle, bro. He's just standing there. Yeah. And then ones where like he said he's rolled it down to like get off his his body. The guy hasn't moved, bro. Even the guy that, that had the weight on the floor, he didn't even look at my man to like, what's going on, bro? Like, just left. I'm like, what? Bro, I'm what? As soon as you see the bar go, it starts to go it's down. Go down a bit, bro. bro, I'm pick setting, it up, man. bro I'm setting pace on the guy, bro. My ribcage is getting squashed to pieces. <laughs> You're just standing there. Me. I asked you to spot me. You're just that. What's that care, word, bro? bro? You're part of that, bro. That's intent, bro. <laughs> that's attempted murder, bro. bro no, nah, that's ridiculous, man. You're, You're embarrassing me, bro. The whole gym is... Nah, bro. Erupting, man. That's ridiculous, man. Yeah, man. Kind of what I used to do as a tactic is to, like, not have a spotter. To make you push in? To, like, to, like motivate me to just push the weight. Sometimes it works. That's risky, still, but Sometimes I did that all the time. I was just bro. in trouble, I'll be honest. Yeah. I did it one time, I think, 80 kg. Mm. Well, I, was, I wasn't in the gym for time. I just pushed it. No one was in the gym, by the way. Oh, that's that's bad. That, that it's is like bad. one of them gyms in the hotels, bro. Oh, right, no right, one right. was there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put eighty. I said, "What?" I, I wasn't even benching. No warm up, nothing. I just put up. Mm. It's safe. Safe. I don't know what motivated me to push it, but you know, <sighs> is what it is, man. But yeah, appreciate a lot for watching this episode. If you made it this far, we got to wrap up. Wrap up, man. Someone said I should bring back. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming food for food thought. Well, well, they said at the end, I think. I've had a lot of segments, so I don't actually know which one they were talking about. Food for thought, um, hot take, hot take. I think I didn't know which one they were talking about. Oh, that's true. Well, food for thought. This episode, life's a gamble, isn't it? So, what is the second part of that quote? There is. I don't know, but I don't know it. I, I think of this oh, stuff, bro. Life's a gamble. Oh, I forgot. It doesn't matter. Make how you would or something like that. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> what the? Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> what we say important Insta, TikTok, everyone to do every week, man. Standard, tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your family, bro. Oh, then that Tina and the boy, thanks for coming, man. Thank you. Been my hustler, hustle. Stay with the hustler, people. Stay with, Stay with it, man. It's been your boy Benzo in the booth. Benzo. We'll see you on the next one, still. <laughs>